Leon, like on the way leaving the event, Nate Diaz he jumps him. Apparently our buddy Sketch two years ago made an OF account and did some uh, stuff with another man. Pretty much all the most famous people all at one party and they're all wearing white. A lot of controversy around that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the podcast, baby. I think we're closing in. On episode 100, we're on, what, like, this is 89? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 20 more than the great 69. But anyways, that's besides the point. We have our boy JGL back on the podcast today. We back. Let's go. I'm ready for this one. Last time uh, you were on here, uh, there was a lot of drama going down, right? <laughs> you, Jack Doherty. Wait, actually, no. We talked about you, but you weren't even on here. It was when you got arrested, bro. No, I didn't get arrested. There's Actually, a clip of you walking off in cuffs. Yeah, no, they walked me off in cuffs because I had a f And, uh, you know, I'm in America. I can have a f to protect myself. Uh, I didn't brand it or anything, so I got zero charges. Nothing happened to me. I got my f or my f back. Oh, um, wait, way to start the pod, bro. <laughs> bleep, bleep the word. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think f no? Just bleep we'll, it. We'll bleep it. Just we'll bleep it all. A pew, a pew pew. You had a pew pew, huh? It was a banana. Yeah, yeah. What can okay. I say? But yeah, no, I'm fine. Uh, nothing ended up actually happening. Um, I had saw them at Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, but the, we already talked about that. It was we, just, yeah. It was yeah, but it's great. great. It's good. He's back on. Oh, is he the good? people well, for the most part, yeah. People want to know. Yeah, for the most part, seven dudes tried jumping me. I had to do what I had to do. And I got zero charges so you guys could see it for whatever you want to see it as. But yeah. Not to talk about Jack Doherty, but I mean, while you're here, I do have a question. Because one of those guys that was there... On Jack's side, I was chirping you. I think it was like in your face filming like, dude, this guy, he's trying to go crazy on us. He's trying to do all this and that. I don't want to say it because we're going to get demonetized if I said what he said. But then didn't he switch sides and now he's trying to expose Jack? Yeah. The uh, yeah, the, the foreign dude, right? Mm -hmm. Norway, yeah. So crazy. Crazy. Switch just like that. It's crazy when everyone around you is fake. They're not real friends. But look at us. Real Screw friends, right? We're still around, right? We're still here. <laughs> I could have been. Well, it's good to have you back, JGL. Uh, we got some big news coming in, and I think we just started off with that big juice, that big juice. If the biggest juice right now. <sighs> Dude, who's the biggest, maybe the biggest personality of 2024? Uh, Either Hawk Tua. Yeah, I was going to say Hawk Tua. Or Sketch. Yeah. Imagine that collab. Hawk Tua, <laughs> Sketch. Well, like you street. don't have to imagine it, brother. I'm just kidding. You do have to imagine it. But, man, this is crazy news. Sketch, man. You, you look at him, and he just seems like an innocent, just a dude, you know? Dude, just I'm, dude not, I'm, I'm just going to keep it real, bro. A lot of people a lot of people thought he, like, you know, I don't know. No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? Can I say it? I can say it, bro. Yeah, yeah, because you don't know much even, about it. Even Bradley Martin, bro, when, when Brad, uh, Sketch was on Bradley Martin's podcast, and then Bradley just straight up asked him, he's like, so, like, do you have anything, like, not wrong with you, but do you, like, have a condition or anything? Like, a lot of people were curious, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, Brad asked him, but then Sketch was like, nah, nah, nah. So, he's just a normal, chill dude. But he just looks super friendly. Like, he's got them big glasses that magnify his eyes. Maybe his eyes are just big. I don't mm. know what that's like. I mean, I'm keeping my jersey off because I feel like Sketch, if you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about? Mm. I, what happened with Sketch? I have no idea. I might idea. take the jersey off, He has off, no though. idea, bro. I thought he knew he was going to know, but he has no yeah. idea what happens. At this point, you guys probably know, but... JGL, break that news to them, brother. So, um, it's funny that I'm actually the one to break it because it involves OF. Uh, apparently, our buddy Sketch two years ago made an OF account and did some uh, stuff with another man. And, um, yeah, I mean, there's stuff on Twitter that he doesn't want us to go look at. So, respectfully, we're not going to look at that. But uh, he actually Speak just... Speak for yourself. He actually just came out today, came out, and <laughs> said that it was him. So he could have easily mm -hmm. just said it wasn't me. It was another person that he looked like me. AI. Bro. AI. But pictures were like surfacing and everyone was defending, or not everyone, a lot of people were like, bro, it's not him, bro. There's no way it's him. Because he looks like, it looks like him, but it also doesn't look like him. Because he looks like more feminine. He's like in these like oh, tight. Oh, you've seen, you've seen. I've seen a little picture. He's, like, he's in these like tight costumes. You can see like his little print. <laughs> And then the it's like, sketch, he bro. has the, like the little makeup yeah. and like, the, Does he have the glasses you know how he has the shave head now? He has the shave head. 
He had a little flow going. This is not long. two years ago. He had the shades, the glasses off. When did he pop off? Is this pre pop? Pre pop, yeah. He's only been popping this year, really. A little bit last year, yeah. Like towards the tail end of last year, but yeah, bro. Looks like it looks like him, but you also maybe you like give him the benefit of the doubt. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, he would never not sketch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, I mean, what kind of stuff? Would when I saw it, when I saw it, I gave it the benefit of the doubt of like, okay, maybe this is just like someone else that has the same exact first name. Yeah. And Pro just ratted himself out. Kylie so, I mean, Jean Cox. Hey. Kylie Cox. You know, it is what it is. I will say it takes a lot of courage to, like, go and do what he said today. And, like, he, he confessed that it was him. Like, that takes a lot of courage. It takes and, balls. Like, and to and ad- Cox. Yeah. Kylie Cox. Yeah, his and last name. to admit that, like, it, it was cool how he said, like, he was that. But then he changed. And the people around him, like, FaZe Banks helped him. And I'm not going to spoil it. You just have to see him announce it because it's <clears throat> honestly one of the funniest things. Let's play it on screen. Yeah, we'll play it on the screen. It. One of the funniest things I've ever, one of the funniest like announcements I've ever seen, bro. When JG and all first saw this, it was, it was jokes. No, just Make I sure didn't we delete play Twitter. this, pop this up. Have video. Been Here we go. Cautiously avoid Play it towards Nick or what? It's like fucking landmines yeah. everywhere I go. Okay, I was dealing with some addiction problems. A couple of them. But, no excuse there, uh, wait, I guess, just trying to give you some background, background here. What else was I going to say? Yeah, that was me. Um, I fucked up. I won't do it again. I'm just kidding. Um, well, I am dead serious about not doing it again. That was... A dark time. Rough, rough time. 89,000? Who the fuck am I? Jinxie? Hey, I love my brother Jinxie. Not like that, though. Just my brother. I don't know. Stay off Twitter, please. For <laughs> Shout out to you. Shout out to Steve. You know, I, I'm owning up to it. Can't take him serious. I don't know how long these videos usually are supposed to go, but who knows? Fuck it, I might stream for an hour. Sonny, turn on DTS. Or is that a bad idea? Someone text me if that's a bad idea. Is the part coming up? Okay. Just walk it up. You left? But on a real note, I've been living under the threat of that coming out for like two years. Dude, imagine. Started social media, just kind of dicking around. <laughs> Literally. Had that in my past. I'll tell you what. Weight lifted off my shoulders. God is good. God is good. All the time. But weight off my shoulders, to be honest. You have some stuff in the closet. Not. <laughs> Yo, everything No pun said. intended there. But, um. <clears throat> Yeah, it came, it came out. I mean, I tell you what, I was going and doing all this different stuff. I was going in the back of my mind, holy shit. <laughs> and guess what? Holy shit was l- last night. <laughs> and I have a lot of people to credit for. I'll be honest. Plan A was, and I will say candidly, was to probably eat a, eat a, well, probably to call it quits if this ever came out. But some people saved me. Shout out Banks. Shout out my parents. Like, shout out y'all. Like, I fucked up, but I'm changed. Um, was real I've ever heard. Of it. Yeah, I did, that's about it, though. <clears throat> like, my my original plan was there's two things: one, either be delusional and think it's never gonna come out, or two. What's the plan after? The plan after was not very good. If I was alone and I was at my house, I probably wouldn't be talking to you right now. But the people at FaZe, banks especially, um, and my friends that I've made over the past couple years came and they saved me. I don't know what I was going to do, but...
I don't know. Fuck it, we start streaming more often. I'm probably... You got real at the end. Huh? <coughs> yeah. Got really real at the end. Yeah. But in the beginning, it was... And then he was probably the most real you've ever seen him because everything else he sound, says is like a joke. But where's the one part where the one part where he's like the main part? What do you mean? The main. Oh part, yeah, 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 yeah. Here, here. <laughs> so uh. Don't play. Do oh, I fucked up, dude. What do you do? That one right there. This one. All right. Uh, earlier, I said it was the funniest thing I seen because this was the only clip I saw. Was this what I'm about to show you? <laughs> I did not mean to say that about the other one because I did not see the other one till right then. How to clarify? Yo, yo, there we go. Ready? This make sure, make, make sure we get both these. Uh, this is the together. thing that I <coughs> thought was funny. So two years ago, I did not have sexual relations with that man. I'm just kidding. I did. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Fudge, just like the yo. way he announced that was like, yeah, you know, that's what I thought we were playing. I didn't know about the whole other thing. Yeah, I mean, at least everyone's keeping their jersey on because they feel like sketch. You know, they're standing with him. I mean, I saw a tweet right here. Uh, Jake Paul said, we love you, sketch. Banks is standing behind him. Everyone else in his team is standing behind him. And I mean, like, that's good, you know? Like, yeah. you don't have to make him feel some type of way. Like, it's in the past. Like, and he's a changed man, and that's all that matters. It's all about how you are now rather than your past, mm -hmm. you know? No, it's that's pretty cool to see because I feel like he really is different. Uh, I mean, he is different. But I like, just feel like you can see it on him. Like, he was getting emotional, too. Like, it was like, dang. Yeah, he got real there at the end. Shout out Sketch, man. Seems like a good guy. Yeah. But to admit that, the pressure of having that on you, and to know that he was the biggest thing, and just that's in the back. for that to happen at any moment, bro. Like, that's in the back of your mind. Yeah, so it's crazy. The reason why it all happened was because someone dropped, like, an almost 20-minute long video of this expose, like, talking about his past, and then it just blew up overnight. And, like, he didn't know how to handle it. He literally just left the house, and he went to the airport. He was trying to go home. Banks hit him up, and he was like, bro, what are you doing? Like, like, bro, don't feel bad about this. Like, we're here for you. Like, like Banks is just being a real one. And <laughs> he left he left his shoes and glasses <laughs> it was on the ground like it feels a mo in a movie or something. I think that's just kind of <laughs> funny, but, like. Because he's so <laughs> iconic, the, the Air Monarchs and his glasses, and he left him, like, this is it, boys. He left him in the room, like, with, where was he, where was he staying? Uh, I think in, like, whatever face house they have right now. He just left his shoes and glasses on the ground like if it was a movie. <laughs> I mean, I just think it's funny, but uh, it, it's, it's really not funny, but it's funny. Like, it's now. Funny we can laugh at it because it's in the past, but it's just, like, yeah. funny because how, like, random it is. Like, no one expected this, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, I, I wonder If you told this. me what it was, I wouldn't have believed it. I literally didn't believe it when I saw it. I thought it was just someone that looked just like him and had the same name. I mean, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. But and then after right after that, I saw him like admitting to it. So I was like, "Damn, it takes balls to do that." Yeah, could have easily just said, "Yep, not me." AI. Yeah, but that, uh, but uh, but he probably maybe it's really hard, but he probably feels relieved. Yeah, yeah, almost like wow, like there's like that's like after that comes out, anything else comes out, it's like oh. You already went through that. Yeah. yeah. Nothing else I have that I'm hiding. I don't know. Hopefully not. He's hiding nothing else. Yeah, I mean, it's better than being in Dr. Disrespect's situation, you know? What happened with that? Uh, it's a minor issue. Yeah, just, just a minor just, issue. Just a minor issue. Oh, oh mm. really? Like some Kendrick stuff, you know? Mm, some like, uh, yeah, some Drake. Oh, don't talk about it. Allegations. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Speaking of Kendrick, uh, Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast chose Kendrick, so does that mean Drake lost, or? So uh, you guys watch the music video? Not Like Us music video? No, is it fire? I didn't watch it yet. It was pretty fire, it was pretty fire, but it's crazy how fast, like, everyone just kind of moved past all that. It's like, after that happens, a couple weeks later, no one really talks about it, unless you're, like, hardcore Kendrick, hardcore Drake, you know? Everyone just kind of moves on. Same thing is probably going to happen with uh, Mr. Kylie Cox sketch a couple weeks from now. Blows over. Like just another thing. Just another thing. Like Drake's meat was the biggest thing, no pun intended, for a couple of days, right? <laughs> yeah. But now look, now now Drake's <laughs> rapping about it in songs and it's like a meme. No one even yeah. cares. I guess you could look at your fears and just they'll turn into jokes eventually. That's a pretty cool way to look at it. Yeah. Speaking of jokes. <laughs> what about it? 
Speaking of them, <laughs> the presidential debate, buddy. Oh, man. Did you guys watch it or no? I tried to watch it. Tried, yeah. Dude, isn't it crazy, bro, that that's the two people that... Like, those are the options. Those are the two options. I mean, I just think it's crazy how, like, I don't think I heard a single sentence from Biden. I don't think I actually understood any words that came out of his his, mouth. Except for that his handicap is uh, minus six, apparently. That's what I heard. (laughs) Yeah, and I saw that uh, they were going to play golf or something, but uh, that never ended up happening. It's, It's crazy that those are the two options. Like, there's no one else that the Democrats could put up. Like, apparently, also, there's a, uh, what's it called, the disease? It's something that you get when you're older. Oh, it's on? No. Not oh, dementia. Not dementia. Alzheimer's. Parkinson's? Parkinson's, I think. Parkinson's. There's been a Parkinson's doctor at the White House coming in, like, once or twice a week for the past little bit. Probably for uh, Big JB, Joe Biden. Speaking of Joe Biden, Jill Biden was actually right downstairs this building, uh, she was actually right downstairs. The whole presidential convoy, Secret Service, was right outside this building. But back to Joe, that, that's the president right there. He, he's barely, like, no disrespect, you know? I want him to live a long, healthy life and everything. But you're the president of the, the leader of the free world, America. The United States of America is, like, barely holding on. Yeah, <clears throat> all I remember from that was uh, Jill was like, what did Trump do? Lie. That's, that's, like, that's, that was the whole debate. Him yeah. calling him a liar and then and then vice versa. Uh, Trump calling Joe Biden a liar. Yeah, it's kind of sad to see it. There was they, they just completely avoided all the questions that they were being asked and they just went straight to like beefing with each other. They just got to put on some gloves at this point, really. I honestly, I would not be surprised if that <laughs> happened, bro. The way that it's going. It's already a clown show. It doesn't show. feel like real life, dude. <laughs> like, it's it's reality TV, but real life. It seems like someone's, like, pulling the strings behind, you know? Well, it's definitely not Joe. That dude, you know, he can't pull in nothing. <laughs> I don't even, I honestly don't even think that's actually even Joe Biden. Like, have you not seen, like, the earlobe theory and, like, the fact that their face is different and, like, just. Explain, explain. <clears throat> so, like, a few years ago, if you look at, like, Joe Biden when he first got into office and versus now, like, they're different people. Like, they're actually different people. Their, elo- their earlobes are different. Like, you know how, like... You, but then why wouldn't he attached. be better? Why wouldn't he be... Why wouldn't they put someone better in? Maybe the real Joe Biden was like, I'm tired of all this, you know, corrupt stuff and, like, wanted to speak out or whatever. And they're like, all right, we're just going to replace you with your clone. And so just... You think real Joe Biden, what he, what happened to him? He's, he's tied true. up in the basement of the White House? Maybe they Probably. Maybe they offed him. Maybe he's on an island with Epstein and Kennedy. Maybe. And Tupac. Maybe, I mean, Tupac, I don't know if he'd be hanging with them, but maybe. Tupac's probably in, like, what, like, Cuba or something? <laughs> I don't know about all the conspiracies. There's so many conspiracies. Dude, all I know is if the conspiracies are true, that's crazy. <laughs> but <laughs> even if they're not true, the fact that he's the president of the United States is still crazy. It's crazy. It's just it's crazy times we out. live in. It's crazy times we live in. It's pretty crazy, man. You know what else is crazy? The fact you. that oh. next Friday we're dropping a country song, our first country song ever, buddy. It's a banger. That is pretty crazy. If you guys haven't seen, we dropped the video on Ireland Boys Productions. Make it in 24 hours. But the music video is dropping next Friday. Along with the song. The song isn't out yet. But on next Friday, July 19th, music video and song is coming uh, we just threw a party the other day, filmed some music video shots there with Ricky for his birthday. Excited for you guys to see it. Uh, that's why I'm wearing the cowboy hat, by the way. And uh, yeah, man, stay tuned for that. Ireland Boys Productions, make sure you're subscribed. But anything else you want to say about that, brother? No, man, just stay tuned. Big time banger. That's all I got to say. Stay tuned for a big time banger. Um, you guys got anything? I got something. Hmm, what do you have? <coughs> I, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but maybe you have, JGL. But have you seen the Jeff Wittick and Andrew Schultz beef? Uh, I heard a little bit about it, though. Oh, you heard a little bit about that, buddy? Yeah, but I don't get why. I don't get it. Is Jeff, why is Jeff so mad? Why is everyone beefing, bro? <coughs> Dude. 
Why is everyone so mad, man? It's good. <laughs> hey, am, am I like who's Andrew Schultz? <laughs> the the, ma- the comedian. Andrew Schultz, big comedian. He's got a big podcast, Flagrant. Honestly, one of the biggest podcasts on YouTube, I feel like. Oh, I've seen him before. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, funny comedian. Me and Ricky went to a show with Dr. Lamb, Health Benefits, Mason Lamb, our yeah. friend. Honestly, that was my favorite comedy show I've been to. Great time. Funny guy. But the reason that they have beef now is because Andrew Schultz, he's got a podcast himself, like I said. But then he has a Patreon where he also films like maybe a podcast a month, right? And on one of the Patreon episodes, he started calling out Jeff Wittick and was like, dude, when is Jeff going to stop complaining about his eye all the time? Like, <laughs> it's like all he does is talk about his eye. Like, dude, we get it. Your eye hurts, but when is he going to stop? And then, so pretty much he was like roasting Jeff for only talking about his eye. And then Jeff was like, dude, this is something I deal with daily. Like, my whole face is messed up because of what David Dobrik did with the crane, right? Mm-hmm. So then now they're beefing. Yeah, I mean, on both parts, definitely, like, it is hard to, like, not talk about it, you know, because it's definitely something he deals with. But it's just also, like, damn, it's, like, his personality trait now. and like Schultz is just mad that he keeps talking about his eye? Yeah, and he was, like, roasting him for it or, like, calling him out on it. I mean. Fix it, fix it, adjust your. But is the. Interesting. Like, you can, what's your thoughts? I, I feel like they're just two comedians that just want some clout and are beefing with each other. Who knows? S- such a little thing. I mean, I feel like such a little thing, right? Such a little I, thing. I feel like I did what? see I did see a, v- a video of Jeff uh, talking about it again. So now that does re bring it up. But I mean, I don't know to like keep saying it in like every video because like anything I see of him is, is about the eye. Like I've not seen him not, not talk I about, see, not about. I like eye. Jeff though. I like Jeff. I'm not gonna lie. It's always about the eye. Mm-hmm. I, I like Jeff though. I like him. No, he's cool. He's yeah, cool. yeah. Schultz seems pretty cool too, but Schultz always gets in these beef with these YouTubers. Like, like what? All right, what's your you thoughts know? on the on the Schultz and Steiny beef? Because honestly, I think Schultz was in the wrong there. Steiny was, uh, yeah. I feel like Schultz was kind of coming at Steiny. What he went at Steiny now too? You didn't what, see this that? Was a, this is a while. Why ago. is he taking shots at everyone? What did he say <laughs> to Steiny? This was a while ago. Steiny just you know he'd be asking pod. the dumb questions sometimes, like random stuff, and then <laughs> Schultz was like, "You guys just aren't prepared, man." Yeah, and then. Like, so, Andrew Schultz went on the full send pod, right? This was a while ago, by the way. But then, Andrew Schultz goes on the pod, pod, and the way the full send pod, the Nelk Boys pod, they kind of just, like, shoot the shit, and it's kind of, they ask stupid questions, and they act like they're boys. That's kind of the vibe. They're not going super deep, super intellectual. Mm-hmm. It's not like a Joe Rogan podcast where they're getting into the psychology of everything, right? Mm-hmm. But sometimes they'll bring Bradley Martin, and he'll, he'll go deep with them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then, uh, so Andrew Schultz goes on there. They're asking those type of questions. And then Andrew Schultz gets mad that they're not asking, like, super deep and, like, intelligent questions. And then Andrew Schultz is just like, what is this? And starts going off on Steiny, even though Steiny was the one. Steiny kind of carries the pot, I'm not going to lie. Kyle doesn't really say that much. Uh, yeah, I feel pod. like it's because, like, they could just make fun of him whatever. So he could ask the hard questions that, like, Kyle doesn't want to ask or, or, or any of them. He doesn't talk that much on the pod too much. He just and then I think back Steve enjoys. was on that pod, too. Steve doesn't really talk too much on the pods. They kind of just let Steiny take like, the beating. It's almost showing like Andrew Schultz like tries to like control the situation. It seems like if someone's not acting the way he wants them to act, yeah. Like it's like why? Okay, if Jeff talks about his eye, it may it may annoy you, but it's like bro, look at that haircut, buddy. Yeah, that haircut. Oh you my know, gosh, but <laughs> that's like it, a border like, to a country, huh? But it depends if he's joking. But I think Schultz was not joking when it came to Steiny. He was actually cheesed, and he's actually. Kind of mad at, I don't know, he'd just be taking shots for unnecessary reasons. I mean, like, if he's a comedian, so like, he should be able see. to take these, like, dumb He's questions. trying to take control. That's why he has the haircut. Like, <laughs> unk, sorry. He needs to make his wrongs right with Jeff, and he needs to get a haircut from Jeff. I think they need oh, to box. fire. Or, because Schultz be boxing a little bit, training UFC. Let's see a little one-on-one UFC. Influencer MMA. We get speed in the action. I think just that's a good way to today. settle a lot of stuff. Dude, there's this guy on TikTok that popped off. He's like a redneck guy, no teeth, really hillbilly. And he's like, he's like, if I run for president, I'm going to make anything anyone says online, I'm going to make them box in real life. And then it went crazy viral. Because it's like, dude, you can't dude, just be saying speaking stuff. Speaking of boxing, yeah. I don't know if I can speak It would speak be dope, bro. Like, imagine if someone said something, they actually had to, like, back it up. 
Dude, what's crazy is I, I could actually talk about this on here. Um, I mean, I don't know if I actually can, but whatever. So uh, Jake and Logan were going to create something like that called the Verified Fight Club. And they wanted to have like, whoa, Vicky, bad baby fighting like Gunna and like other rappers fighting like rapper, <laughs> like everyone that's like big and popping. And Jake and Logan never ended up doing it because you need a lot of money to back something up like that. And a year goes by or two years go by. And Austin McBroom ends up doing it, and Austin McBroom does it with social gloves and took the idea, but Austin McBroom messed up because, like, he had he didn't have the money to back it up. He just got greedy, tried going through with it, and he scammed everyone. So, like, props to Jake and Logan for not doing it and scamming everyone because, like, you'd have to, like, have a lot of money for that, and they just thought, you know what, we're going to put our own career on the lines if we end up doing it and failing. So they just let it rest, and then Austin McBroom was like, yo... I'll just take the idea and call it social gloves and just boom, boom, boom. That's how Michael, Michael Lee lost yeah. his, you know, his fame and everything. It was it a good idea, but I mean, it. the bags that they promised was, they weren't delivered. It wasn't. That. I think some people still got paid after, like, I think Bryce got like a portion of what he was supposed to get. Everyone was getting like little por- chunks of what they were supposed to get. Yeah. I think a uh, little baby performed, and he did. He yeah. he was the only one that got paid right away, like because what he did it up front. He's little baby. I mean, I think he got it after. I'm not sure, but hey, he's little baby. You got to give little babies money, you know. Yeah, but you don't want no problems, you know. You don't want problems, little baby. That's how he goes M for M, right? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <coughs> I would love to see it now, like honestly, like verified Fight Club. If Jake and Logan do that again, like run it up, bro, because like I want to execute. That. I feel like they would execute. That'd be tough, though. Like, a lot of the, like... Who's gonna want... Like, not all of them want to fight. A lot of co- fight. your reputation, if you lose, if you're talking about being so hard, like, imagine you're... Especially like, a rapper. Gunna or a little baby, and your whole image is being hard, and then you take L? Yeah. It's like, imagine losing to Gunna. Like, Gunna, he's in shape now, but imagine you lose to, like, Gunna before he was in shape. Or Kevin Gates. What if we got Kendrick and Drake in there? Or Drake's so much Dude, bigger. the bags you would need to pay for that, but, I mean... <clears throat> How much? Man. <clears throat> That'd be great. But was that even fair, though? Because apparently Kendrick's tiny, huh? Yeah, Drake's are kind of big, though. Taller Could in person, you see when we meet. Yeah, they might have to, like, match up in size somehow. But That's I would love to see it. Like, I would I would pay whatever to watch that, really. But how often would they, would people be down and the matchups make sense and then people get the money that they think they deserve? I feel like it's Drake, rare. Yeah. Like, what, how much would Drake even need to step in the ring? 500 mil? Because it's like, why, why would he put... Isn't that a low ball for him or something? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, why would he put his whole reputation on line for 50 mil when he can do a tour? Yeah. And have no and, stress yeah, of training. And not lose any reputation. And and get clowned for the rest of ever. I mean, he's already getting clowned right now. Yeah. And I thought his just tracks with fire. And fighting's like the biggest <laughs> pride thing, bro. It really is. It's crazy, like, how much it's changed since, like, Jake got into it and, like... Well, it was really because of the KSI fight with, uh, what's his name? And Joe then, Weller? Yeah, and then he just called out Logan and all the Pauls, and then now it's just, like, look where it's at. Like, we're really here now. Like, you fought. You know what I mean? It's yeah. just like, what in the world? Like, boxing is really the sport that influencers are getting into. Like, what if... Is it still a big thing in the influencer? I feel like, yeah. Isn't Aren't people, like, still, like, trying to fight and do I all that? Social, not social gloves. <laughs> what's KSI's thing? Misfits? That still be going they put on? on the events, but I feel like it's not as hype. Or maybe it's just a different era. I can't tell, you know? Like it, was it, it was hot for a minute. Like It was the thing for a minute. Do we got to switch it up? Do we got to do, like, YouTube, like, basketball now? Like, YouTube, like... But football. fighting just is just, fighting like... Just so, is there so much... I think sure. it should be... I think it should be YouTube or social media UFC. That's, oh my like, gosh. ultimate. That's ultimate. Yeah. Literally ultimate. Like, Bryce doing the Because there would be knuckle? some clowns in there, bro. Like, cause you know, like even the boxing, sometimes it's like, you know, they don't really know what they're doing. Yeah. Well, I'd say a lot of the time. So imagine some UFC, if you had someone in there that was like good, they could just piece someone up. Hey, Bryce is a G though. He, he, how fast was that when he did his bare knuckle fight? Very fast. That was, yeah, that was, that was really fast. Bare knuckle. That's yeah. That takes some balls. He kind of redeemed though. himself after the, the fight with Austin, you know, like, oh, definitely. Yeah, he definitely redeemed himself. And then he said the cra- the line, like, I am a fighter. I always claim to be a fighter. That was the hardest <laughs> line of that yeah. year, bro. Speaking of not being able to just talk with nothing to back it up, Neon, apparently, uh, so Nate Diaz oh. faced off against Masvidal, right, in boxing. JGO knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. And 
Who I won? believe Nate Diaz won, right? A little controversial. I didn't watch the fight, but Nate Diaz won. A lot of people think he only won because they were fighting in Cali or whatever, the judges. But um, I guess Neon at the press conference, he goes on the mic and says to Nate Diaz, he's like, yo, so are you going to quit when you get knocked out? And then Nate Diaz is like, yo, who said that? So I can see who said that. And then Neon, he's like, oh, me, 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 right? Mm-hmm. And then after, Neon's, like, on the way leaving the event. Nate Diaz team jumps him and, like, gets it into it with his security and everything. Jumps him, jumps his security, and then just, like, jumps him. Oh, I saw that. And Neon security didn't even back him up. He was, like, in a stairwell, and he's like, yo, go get him. And it's, like, the one <laughs> yeah. time you actually have to do your job, and he wasn't ready. But pro- like, probably yeah. he couldn't have taken all of them either way. Probably not. I mean, he wanted his clip. He got his clip. He got his clip. So what he happened? Two did, clips right did, there. Did he get beat Ooh. up like bad? Um, I don't really or know. What happened after? You don't know? I don't know. It just kind of cut off, and then they just ended up back in the car, and there. And then his security guard was like getting mad at him, like, "Why aren't you listening to me? Why?" He's always just yelling at, at Neon. I don't even know. I never know what he's talking Neon about. Imagine being Neon security, bro. That I would not want that job. <laughs> Imagine being Jack just, security. Both of them, bro. <laughs> they act like the, they act like the security can just stop everything, and they just can do whatever they want. I'm pretty sure a bullet can go through a security, and you know, like it's just just saying. But just like when you're when you're that hated in public, like I, I'm sure, like you know, people like you know Tate, you know, they got people that hate them and want them, you know, dead and whatnot. But it's just like there's not really anything you could do about like. You know what I was talking about earlier, like the the banana shooter, the you know the pew pew, the pew pew, yeah. Can't do anything about that, especially when like there's a lot of people that hate you, like especially with like that OF scam stuff. Like there's enough rich people in the world that like if they wanted you gone, they could have you gone. Like you know what I mean? Like it'd just be like kind of like weird, wa- like it's like walking around with that in the back of your head, like sketch was, but knowing like everyone is coming for you. Scary. Yeah. If I knew, like, there were, like, knives coming at me at every time of my day, like, you know, I, I wouldn't want to go outside. Yeah. I mean, I think that's what happens with a lot of, like, rappers when they be, dude, rapper, Fulio. I don't know if he's from Tampa, but he was, like, around Tampa. It was his birthday the other day, and one of his biggest song is called Dead Ops, <laughs> and he raps about his ops that are dead, and he's, like, dissing them. There's a Dead Ops, and then I think there's a Dead Ops 2, where he's rapping about... His dead ops just trashing on them, right? And it's like you put that into the universe, that will come back. back. And you know what happened? Sadly, on his birthday, someone shot him. Dang. And he died. A lot. A lot of times. That's crazy. No, I'm serious, bro. Like, they just pulled up. Like, the car was, like, They probably emptied the clip on him. But it's like, dude, when you're rapping about... It's like what you put out really be yeah. what you get back. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you're rapping about positivity, why would someone's not going to want beef with you or have a problem with that? I mean, there's going to be people that hate, but I mean, yeah. they're not going to want to do anything that you're like, oh, be, be happy, be positive. Especially like when you're like messing around with like the gang stuff and yeah, like you're messing yeah. with people's gangs. Like, it was, po- and then he has to worry about, about like, because he was posting yeah. his location. That's, and that's what messed up too. So they have yeah. to move different. They have to like think of everything they're doing. Yeah, you gotta. It just post seems your like Instagram a sh- story like the day yeah. after. It just seems like a stressful life, bro. Yeah, I don't want those yeah. problems. Like even bro, we went out the other night and then there was someone. I don't even know the whole. Oh, story. Oh yeah, that's crazy, dude. Yeah, so literally, dude, we were. Uh, I wasn't. I went to dinner and then I pulled up to this parking lot, and it was just me, my friend, and my other friend. Just three of us. We were just talking in this parking lot. And no joke, up two tr- trucks full of like dudes pull up, get out. They have ski masks on, different things. What? Yeah, bro, no cap. And one of them just beams right towards me. My two friends, they got in. They were already in the car, and I was standing outside talking to them. And he's like, there's like nothing in his eyes, and he goes, "Yo, bro, what's your name?" But it was like a like almost I could feel the energy. It was almost like a distracting question, like you know, like why are you coming up to me? What's your name? It was so weird. Was ski mask so, on? Like two, like two of the guys in the back had ski masks. The guy that came up to me didn't. And then I just hop in the car, close the door, and the guy instantly like turns around and walks back. And then I like start driving away. And he's like screaming like, yo, I know, I know who you are. And I was like, bro, what? It was weird, dude. And I don't be doing anything weird. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We don't even be doing stuff that would draw a lot of hate. But imagine if you did. 
I know. We still have to deal with some of that sometimes. Yeah, so some, I'm saying. We're in a crazy world. That's why I need a pew pew, you know? We yeah, all bro. need one. And you have to stay ready. And that's why I always stay ready. So I don't have to but get But also ready. avoiding conflict is also the mm-hmm. biggest dub. Like, in that moment, if I, like, go, like, I feel weird and I say something back to him, and, he, like, I know he's going to throw a punch, maybe I move it and I hit him, bro, I'm getting jumped by the other 10 dudes in the back. Or if you just want to, like, act hard or act tough. Yeah, so I just for, got for it. For what? For what? Um, my hat fell off. I had my cowboy hat on. It fell off on the ground, and I closed it. And then I was like, I don't need it, you know? You, you got to, like, think clear as you can in that situation. It's like, what's worth it? Just, just avoid it. Like, people are going to be like, oh, you ran? And it's like, bro, yeah. Or, like, when someone throws a punch and then you flinch, it's like, oh, you flinch. And it's like, yeah, yeah bro, what, like, you want yeah, me to have bro. no reflexes? Yeah. <gasps> and then uh, that you, they, if someone, next time someone says, oh, you flinched, I'm just going to swing at them and hit them. And be like, yeah, you should have flinched, boy. <laughs> For real, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's like, knock them out. And then when they wake up, I'll tell them. Yeah. Dude, well, dude why didn't you flinch, bro? Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy because uh, uh, the the one dude that swung at Neon after the the fight, how he missed. You saw that, like he swung and he missed. That's the same dude that tried fighting me that night. And what's crazy is like, like what night? The 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 one night that you guys talked about oh. where like I had the pew pew. Uh, so that same kid, he like was jumping over tables to get to me, like a bunch of them. And I said, get back, get back, get back. I said, get back many times. Realistically, if I wanted to use pew pew, I could have used it right then and there. And they they came at me legally, legally. So yeah, legally. And uh, so Julian, that kid that like was fit, like uh, missed on uh, Neon, he like was so close to me that I was able to shoulder him. If I'm able to shoulder you, you're definitely just way too close to me. And they never threw any punches. They, they never like fully attacked me. And so like it's, it, it's best that they didn't because I was holding on right here to the pew pew. So if they did, yeah, I would have been using it, using my rats, my American rats. <coughs> but uh, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, honestly, Dude, it, doesn't have, crazy it doesn't have to get to that point, you know? It never has to get to that point. Like, we only use that in defense of, like, somebody else using that. Like, I don't, I would throw hands rather than, you know, use a pew-pew, you know? Like, I don't care about using no pew-pew if, if, we're, if we're throwing hands, you know? Yeah, but you never know when knuckles. someone has one, so that's why you got to be careful, you know? Exactly, Or yeah. a knife. You can't even see, bro. If you're see, in the UK, they might whip out. You can't even shanky. see. You think you can see, but, dude, it can be anywhere. It can be, like, on the leg. It could be, boom, right here. And it's a p pe- and it's sometimes people you don't expect too, so just always stay safe and avoid the drama. It's always good to avoid it. Don't put yourself in the situation. And my friend was saying that was with me in the situation. He was like, in every scenario that conflict happens, it always ends with an "I'm sorry." Almost always, either say you get in a fight, he hurt. Say they pull up and hurt you, or they hurt me in that situation when you're about to get jumped. Boom. And say, God forbid, you die. Mm-hmm. He goes to jail and he's like, dang, bro. I'm like, why, why did I do? He would never, he would be like, dang, I'm sorry. Like, why did I do that? And I've, and you're not here. Or he does something to you and you boom out of self-protection. It's not like you're going to be like, yes, bro. Like you just took his hit, life. You just took his life. Like really? To save yours. But at the same time, you're going to, you're going to feel, have to feel that for the rest of your life. Like you did that. You're, and it's like, dang, you don't want to do that. It's almost just like a, you have it just in case like yeah. it goes horrible. Yeah, like I, I honestly hope I never have to use my pew pew, you know? Well, obviously you hope, like, but I, there's I weird people that do yeah. like hope. They're like, yeah, man. And it's like, you know what I mean? It's like weird. Yeah, it's just different because like if you had a knife, like I just don't think I could stab someone. Like, I, it's like Yeah, dude, that's way harder, like, bro. Like, you know I'm what I'm talking about? I mean, when you have adrenaline, I'm sure it's very easy, but it's just like when you're self, you know, let's say you have your wife, your kid. Different case, bro. You're using it. Like, you're, you're handling the situation. You're protecting your family. Yeah, bro. Like, what are you going to do? Just let them do whatever they got to do with your wife and kids in front of you, and you're just, like, defenseless? Like, nah, bro. Nah. I'm going to be ready. We're in America. Florida, but to dude, be exact. Yeah. The, our state is shaped like a pew-pew. Come on. <laughs> Come on. We're going to have it, bro. That's so true. But if, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. If someone put up on me right now, I would take an L, bro. I can't even use my hands right now. Oh, oh yeah. You want to talk about that? I could talk about it for a second and show them. I should pop up the clip. It's but it's nasty for those of you guys that don't know. He's my a nasty arms. guy. I had cut both of these things out of my arms, like uh, cysts, like big cysts, like the size of like a little sushi roll. 
And now you ruined sushi for me. I can't eat sushi like anymore now. Octopus. Bro, they literally numbed my arm. They slid it open. Both arms had him. And then he just slid it out, and he was, like, holding it right there. And it looked like a mini brain. But, yeah, I can't use my arms, really, for, like, five days, they said. So I'm just, like, a little... Uh, I'd be extra cautious. Just don't even go to the gym for, like, two weeks. <laughs> just be sure. Yeah, th- yeah. You never know. Be careful. Oh, you don't get to know... Uh, Stay home. Yeah, I am. Because you also might forget that you're lifting something heavy and, like, it just happens. You're like, oh, wait a minute. And then it pops, yeah. and then all of a sudden, just, like, it just starts gushing. Like, your your okay, okay. muscle tissue just, like, pop yeah. out. And, you know, then you got to go back in. They got to put it back in. Probably, probably yeah, <laughs> don't do that. Did but they yeah. stitch it, or is it just, yeah, like? Yeah, stitches. Oh, okay. What did you think they did? Just left it? Super glue? No, I'm kidding. They do that. Super glue and the staple. Yeah, there is like a type of glue. Yeah, the thing's crazy. I can't feel my whole arm. It's like numb. Like I can't feel. <laughs> <laughs> so now it just—it's—it's it's not you doing it now. It's someone else. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is what they say. Like if you—if you use your other hand, it feels different. <laughs> it does. It's because it's. <laughs> let's, let's not talk about this. <laughs> That is what they say, though. We're talking about writing, like when you write with a pencil. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't feel like you're writing or brushing your teeth. It's yeah, right. yeah, it's like yeah. Someone else is brushing your teeth. Yeah. Yeah. When you switch to the left hand, <laughs> someone else is brushing your teeth. It is crazy when you when you use your other hand for something that you don't. It's use not used to it. Yeah, it's just like weird. It yeah. makes your brain like think. Because I'm a lefty. Like everyone's yeah. a righty. I don't know. Well, I'm a lefty for for right. I'm a lefty when it comes to writing. <laughs> but when it comes when to writing, you're a lefty. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. When I'm, you're a, I'm a lefty when it comes to writing, but I'm a righty. Strength? When it comes to lefting? Just when it comes when to, it comes to lifting. When it comes to other <laughs> stuff. Sorry. Nah. Like, eat, like eating. It's bad. My right arm is just weak. It just looks smaller. <laughs> like it's bad. Yeah, I just got to like go and hit some, some dumbbells. Right arm. Right arm. What are you hitting today? Right arm. <laughs> You have to balance it out, though. Yeah. yeah. Somehow. Yeah, like you, you know that reps. one guy that did, like, the Mr. Beast challenge where he just, like, did it for, like, however long he did it? It was, like, over a day or something like that? Oh, yeah, for, for curls, like, a one-pound bicep? Mm-hmm. How many did he get? He probably had to do the other hand. for like How much money did he make? 70000 No idea. No, no way, right? I'm not sure, but he... He, he, he got a lot, though. More than I thought. Probably in the thousands. In the thousands, but still. That's one, a lot. Even one pound. I kind of want to do that now, like, for a short, you know? How many, like... And then you? which arm is stronger? And then you you do like your right arm gets like five hundred thousand, and your left is just ah. I, I actually might have to do that now. It's a good one. Not just because I need to like re strengthen my right arm or anything, but like I just should do it, right? Yes, you should, JG. I have a question for you guys. You guys are pretty religious people. Mm-hmm. Would you say so, Ricky? Yeah. Where, his hat says God is great, right there. Um, great hat. What's your thoughts on this? There is a church in Mexico now oh. trending online after they announced they're selling plots of land in heaven for $100 per square meter. The pastor says he spoke to God and he was granted permission to do this. They've already collected thousands of dollars. I just think, yeah, well, in the Bible it even says there's false prophets. So it's like there's people that are going to pretend that they're doing God's will, but it's like, they're really doing theirs. And it's sometimes the most knowledgeable people because when you're a knowledgeable person, you you lead people and you can either lead them to like prosperity or you can lead them to destruction. So I just think it's like, come on, bro. Like, yeah, it's just a joke. Definitely a joke. Like not that just they think it's money. a joke. They think it's real, but it's definitely just a joke in general. Because like, like, yeah, if it's, it's not in the joke. Bible, then like you can't really take it at all. Can't really. He's just out there finessing people, the people in Mexico. Dang, I, I believe it's a I Catholic And also church. like, dude, how are you going to believe it's only a hundred? What's well, only it's for a square meter. Oh, per maybe heaven's meter? really big though. You know, I would hope it's pretty big per square meter. So, like, think about it. If it's pretty big, it's like there's a lot of room for everybody. So, like, square meter. That's actually like so. Just I find that so disrespectful that they're even like doing it. Imagine, at all, some, bro, imagine like, some rich person like believes it and they're like they're just like, dude, I need a massive plot of land for me and my family and my dogs to run around in. I, drops, I like, I'm not a hundred percent. Grand. percent sure how this goes and i don't want to add or take away from the bible but i'm pretty sure your your deeds that you do on earth depends on how big your house will be in heaven 
Is it? Like, I thought it was I, not I, that. I, I thought it was. I, I, I think I, th- sure, I thought it was like it doesn't matter. Almost doesn't matter how good you are here. Like you can't earn your way. Well, no, no, not that there. you can't earn your way to heaven. I'm just saying, like those that like brought people to Christ and like oh, okay. did like you know really went out there and did a lot. Like they will receive Here's a lot a of extra square feet. goods and. I know, yeah, I don't know enough to like, speak. May, maybe it's like like that's how you get the square feet is by bringing more people to Christ rather than a hundred bucks. You know. Like our goal, yeah, the hundred bucks. I don't think anyone we're, believes that. We're, we're called, we're called to to bring people to Christ. So, like, I feel if anything, it would be that the more people you bring to Christ, it's like a referral program. You know, like more people you like refer. Almost like affiliate marketing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my, you just running yeah. a pyramid scheme. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, you're like when, when you get to the when you get to the gates of heaven, uh, use my code. Uh, it is what it is. Ten percent off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel like. The most important thing is that we're here to call others and like it may be like a little seed being planted, but, you know, everyone has their different way of coming about life and it, people must have been living in the dark for so long and it may take one person to just like give them a little bit of light and like show them that there's hope. So even, even just like in sketchy situation, like there's always hope yeah. until you're dead. Like he said, like his plan A was to like just eat something and just, you know, he was gonna, he, he almost, like he said, if it was by himself, he would have. Yeah. Off himself. Yeah, glory to God that, like, he had good people around him, like Banks and all those other people. And, like, you know, you need some real people around you in those times, especially because you, especially, like, in that moment, you'd want to be alone. You'd want to just be in your own thoughts. But that's, like, the worst. That's, you don't want to do that. You should not do that. Like, yeah. you, you got to be with people. people around you. And you think, you think that no one wants to be around you after that. Yeah. But in reality. Some people want to be around you more. Mm-hmm. Oh, that sounds crazy. <laughs> No, I know. I for the right, right reasons. For the right reasons. But like, but, but like, like when they the want good to be there, there for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You need those people. Yeah. Yeah. Even though, like, there's a lot of darkness, you know, there's always a little bit of light in it. Like, speaking of that light, <laughs> speaking of all white, that Michael Rubin all white party, a lot oh, yeah. of controversy around this one. Uh, oh, really? Oh, yeah. What controversy is there? It's pretty much like the most exclusive party I can think of. Everyone's there. We got Drake. We got Tom Brady. Gronk. Shout out Gronk. Mm. Shibuzi. Shibuzi there. Shout out Shibuzi. Uh, Kim K. Pretty much all the most famous people all at one party, and they're all wearing white. A lot of controversy around that, you know, because of the Illuminati and stuff, everything. Everyone thinks that. And also, I just found this out. The invitations that everyone got, have you seen those? Um, very, very evil looking. What is it? The the the, Wait. the artist look, look up some of the invitations. Okay. Maybe we'll pop up some pictures. Yeah, gotta, everyone gotta got us. everyone got like a unique portrait sent to them for the event. And this guy is actually known for working with Kanye, making some of his album covers. Uh, he had the one where like the heads on the ground and like the knife through it or like the sword through it. Yeah. Just like pretty like disturbing images. I mean, it's just a drawing, but at the same time, it's just like it is disturbing imagery. What? Like there there's there's a deeper the meaning. Always, look yeah. up his look up his work in general. And then if you go to the invitations, I think like Quavo's. Who is Mark Rubin anyway? He's Michael. the owner of Fanatics, big company. How is he? he how did he happen to throw the biggest? He just he just knows everybody. Does it every like, year? He's like, yeah, he does it because he year. provides all the jerseys for all the sports. He's he just connected like that. Oh, fire! And then Dude, this like, looks weird. That guy, so that's Tom Brady's invitation. Wait, yeah. let me see it. Yeah, I think last year he had that one dude like do bunny hops because he lost the game of basketball. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, why? Did, why is that going on? You know, like, I don't know. I, all I know is that they're all very powerful. They got a lot of money. You know, there's a lot of stuff that goes on at these parties that we may never hear of. Um, who knows? Maybe if we talk about just the right thing, we might get uh, muted. You know, one of those. Or invited. Of, maybe we might get invited. Maybe we might get invited. I would go. I honestly, I don't. I think a lot of it is hoopla. A lot of it's people just. They see a lot of famous people together in one place, and they're like, "Oh, immediately, oh, Illuminati." Yeah. If anything, it probably is just like an innocent party, but there are just such big names there that they're obviously going to talk about crazy stuff there, and that's yeah. where like they learn stuff from each other. But yeah. maybe the whole thing around it is just a party. You yeah. Know? All white party. That's what I want to believe. Uh, you know? Michael Rubin, you know your boy on the come up. New country's song in the works. Bang, or once this drops, maybe me, Ricky, DJ Fab, JGO too. Uh, if you could invite us next time, uh, DMs are open, sir. Let us know. Yeah, we'd love to just. We got all white outfits, you know? You already have one, right, JGO? I, I got one. So. I got one in the closet. 
what ready, ready for next Fourth of July. Ready. I already have my ticket to the Hamptons. I'd love to go, Michael. I think Jake was just there. Jake Paul was there too. Oh, this is what I can say. This picture of Drake. Have you look up while you're on your phone? <laughs> picture of Drake. Can we please pop this up too? Picture of Drake at all white party. Zoom in on that man's face. Oh. Zesty? Is it zesty? No, just wait till Ricky pulls it up. Let me make sure it's the right picture. This one? Yes, zoom in on that. Zoom in on his face. Is that real? Is that real? He looks so old in there, bro. <laughs> yeah, he does kind of. People are saying the Drake and Kendrick beef aged him 10 years. <laughs> I heard something about, like, he's definitely having nightmares. Why does he look sad? He looks sad night. and old. That's not real, bro. He looks like a like he one of those dogs that have, like, the big ears. Yeah. Right? Yes. That's crazy. Wasn't LeBron James there at that point? I think LeBron he, James he was there. He had to have been in one of them. LeBron James was there, but <laughs> was Devin Bronny was there? there? Was Bronny there? That's the real Ooh. question. Or was Bro- Bro- Bronny busy in the gym putting in that work in practice? I actually heard uh, yesterday, uh, don't quote me on this, I don't know if it's true or not, but um, Bronny is, he just played his first game on the uh, offseason, right? And uh, so the theory is that LeBron wants his son to play before he passes away because, like, he had that heart attack, remember? So, like, what's up with that? Like, how is that? I think that. Bro, nah, you're I heard crazy. That's conspiracy. It's definitely, it's definitely a conspiracy, but it's just like. I think he's a healthy young man, bro. It is crazy, I, I though. Don't know. He did have that weird incident when he was playing at USC, right? The heart. Yeah, the heart, heart attack, attack, right? Yeah. Maybe, I don't think I don't that know. they're thinking Maybe. that though. Yeah, that's a stretch. That's definitely a stretch. Yeah, stretch. I don't think that's why. He definitely will like live a long, you know, healthy life in the in the NBA and whatnot. But it, he, you know, his dad wants to play. I think his son, dad just you know? wants to play with him. Yeah. 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 I'd oh, and so. I think next year his other son's gonna play also. No way. Yeah, Bryce. I think, I think in twenty, but not the NBA. I believe so. He's is about he to get into it next year or two years. I'm not sure. People, I think you were told me, isn't people say Bryce is better than Bronny? Yeah, people are saying Bryce is and better. And if on there already, got drafted. Yeah, I think Bronny just needs time to develop, but also, like, it's like, bro, why would you not? You, you're, His dad worked so hard to put him in the position to get him that opportunity, so it's like anyone else would do the same. Yeah, I think I saw something that— um, So people hate, but it's like, bro— Bronny got like a three year contract, I believe, and then LeBron got a two year contract. And uh, someone like I saw this TikTok video. Someone was saying like that LeBron did that for a reason, so that once his other son um, gets in the NBA, then he could like if he goes to another team and his younger son gets into a different team, then Bronny would just get transferred over to the, wherever his dad goes. But like he's smart, so like he didn't stay too long with Isn't that Lakers. Crazy, bro. He's literally playing with his. His family. His family. Dude, yeah. And imagine his, his wife. wife goes to the WNBA or becomes the first woman to play in the NBA. Insane. Like, if you think about it, he is playing on the court with something that came out of his... <laughs> 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 That's insane. <laughs> he wasn't even... How old was LeBron when he went to the NBA? Like, 18. 18? Yeah. How old was he when he had, bud? I think probably 18. He was in... Or young, maybe younger. Maybe a little older, no? Maybe a or little older. Maybe a little older. How old is LeBron? 40? I don't, I don't know. Check Imagine. It. Say LeBron had him when he was 19. LeBron was in the NBA before that dude even existed. LeBron is like the only one to skip college, right? He just went straight from high school to, to the uh, NBA. I think Kobe did it too, right? Yeah. Kobe did it. It's crazy. 19, LeBron had his kid. Wow. And he's still with the same woman. That's that's pretty crazy. Props to him. Dude, yeah. Because he's the biggest of all time. Props to him, really. Props to him. Props to her. She seems like a great woman. I saw some clips of her on a podcast. She seems like a good mom. Savannah? Is that her name? Yeah. Savannah James? Savannah James. Savannah James. Great woman. That's actually great woman, crazy. Great woman. That's actually dope, huh? Yeah. That's from high I was school. I trying to find one of those. Really? From high school, yeah. They were dating in, yeah. Wow. High to stay through, like, heart. being the biggest g- dude, literally, literally called, like, the next Michael Jordan. You know? How crazy. That's, it's not. That's, that's Who do crazy. you guys got? Michael Jordan or uh, LeBron James? I don't know enough about basketball, to be honest. But I just like playing it. 
I would say, dude, Michael Jordan just had that dog. He was obviously the nostalgia, the era. But it's like LeBron James is just the longevity counts for something, bro. The longevity to be on the top. I mean, like, Michael Jordan's literally on my shoe right now. So. LeBron has shoes, though, too. <laughs> <laughs> but Michael Jordan's on my shoe right now. <laughs> That's so crazy. Like, just being in the NBA and then out of nowhere, you're like, we're going to make a shoe about you. Like, just what? And like, just the fact that, that it's like you're good with balls. Like, when you break it down simply, yeah. you're like, oh, these guys are just good with balls. Like, not trying to be joking, but, like, it's just, like, yeah. If you think about it, you're just making, when you break, it's, like, you're making a ball into a circle. It really is crazy like, when you watch, and like, the NBA, like, when it first started. It's dope, though, but. Yeah, it's crazy how, like, what they wore, they were so tight, so, like, tiny on them. They wore Converse, like, like you could sprain your ankle with Converse. So like, yeah, they had no idea what they were doing. Yeah. And, like, I, th- I don't even think they bounced it at the time. They passed it and everything. Like, <laughs> they, they just, like, didn't really care to bounce. It just <laughs> came to a point where they were, like, bouncing them. And no one, like, shot threes. And now it's, like, all shooting threes. Yeah. All dribbling. Yeah, and, like, all the, bouncing. The, the baskets changed over time where, like, it's just got a slightly easier to, like, you know, nail it in. Before, it was just, like, a weird board. It's pretty crazy, yeah. Shout out the inventor. What's that guy's name? Dr... I think they're going to use... Sort of doctor invented It's not even that long that it's been around. Yeah, and, and now they have the new ball, the airless ball. Is that real, bro? Yeah, I th- apparently yeah. they're going to use it next use, year or something. It? I don't think they're nah, going to use it. I saw M- MKBHD made a video on it, I think. Do you think they'll like use it? I think they're nah. going to use it in the next few years. I don't know. That takes like such a big change to change something like change. that. That's a big change. Airless like, ball? Yeah, because golf balls have like little... Indents yeah. for like it to go uh, like straight and whatnot. Yeah, it helps it. The, the yeah, dynamic. And soccer, soccer has an issue where it like goes wherever. Really, it wobbles sometimes. Yeah. So if a basketball is already fine how it is, I say leave it. Rather, than, I mean, who knows if it has holes in it? Will that help it or like make it harder? Man, I'd have to get reused to that. Yeah, and then you what have like you train your whole life. So it's like, what if a kid was training his whole life with this ball? Ooh. I think for the sports that are established, you leave it, but then, like, whenever something's created, you do all the changes, Maybe like, they early. they make an airless ball basketball league. Nah, that's not. Nah, nah, the idea. ABA. Terrible, terrible idea. Terrible idea. The <laughs> ABL. Like, when would they ever really use that, you know? It's not like filling it with air is, like, a hassle, I feel like. It's not like... But, the, but then it eliminates... A lot it of ways. It could be more universal, though, because... I mean, you got to repump it. You got to repump it if you if it's a little too inflated. You know, what you hate when True. the ball is a little too bouncy. I hate True, that. it minimizes the the, the variable the, of change. Variable of change, independent variable. Dependent like you're never variable. inflating it. Every ball is the same. Like imagine Tom there's Brady. no excuse. Like oh, this ball is a little too fl- inflated. This ball is too deflated. It's like no. Mm, it's not a it, see. It's growing on me already. Like let's weigh the pros and cons. Pros, anytime you ball up, if if it's, it's like... always the same. It's always the same. Always. Cons. Nothing. <laughs> Cons, it doesn't have air. I wonder, like, how hard you have to slam it for it to break. I heard it bounces the same, though. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm same. sure this first gen, they're going to, like, improve it, improve it. Like, yeah. look, look at this, bro. It's like electric cars. Back in the day, people were riding horses, and then a car with the engine came out. And people were like, people were probably like, dude, that's probably not safe. That's going to blow up. Car with engine. Yeah, not I'll reliable. Stick, the horse I'll stick is to reliable. my horse and my carriage in the back, sir. And then now look at everybody. Gas-powered cars. And then electric cars come. And then everyone's like, dude, electric? I like the sound of my engine. Uh, I just got a new car. I do like the sound of the engine. But, yeah, everyone's like, dude, electric cars, that's, that's, not, that's not it. That's not it. We like what we have. I mean, even our mom, GPS came out, and she said, no. Give me that paper map. Paper map. Who you? Who do you know uses with a paper? drawing? Like turn left at this tree. No Who do you way. know that uses paper map these days? Absolutely no one. Absolutely I don't, nobody. I think I've only remember a faint memory of like be on a road trip and we we've used it like once and then right after that like GPS came out. Yeah. <laughs> like maybe it might take a little bit of adapting. Maybe it might be a slow process. But say you integrate it. Maybe they do this. They integrate it. At the younger level, at like middle school, and then when those middle schoolers grow up, then they implement it into high school, and then they implement it into college once those high schoolers go to college, and then that way, it's like everyone's still using it. 
It's at crazy the same how time. people got around before GPS is like you just got to know where and everything cars. is. Dude, bro, if I didn't have a GPS, bro, imagine having to walk with no GPS everywhere. Dude, just lying we're so privileged, tigers. bro. We're, we are so privileged. Like, but it's gonna become normal. Where they, they just un, uh, they literally just uh, gave the good the green light that in 2025, I think, in Tampa, that people are gonna be able to fly in driverless or pilotless drones. You're gonna hop in like a dr- like a drone like plane, and it's gonna fly you not very far, but it can make like a three hour drive into thirty minutes. And no the, pilot. I I believe there's also this thing where they're trying to make it where people don't need cars anymore. Like they're trying to eliminate the use of cars. So like they'll make it where you live in like an apartment building, but like everything is there. Like you never have to leave. Like the vet is there, the hospital's there, everything is there. So you never realistically have to leave. I think they're doing it uh, where I'm near in Miami. Uh, they're trying to like build something like that, you know, like the big wall, like somewhere that big they're wall do- of China. That big he knows a lot about that. He's from not the big wall of China, but like that one, like a uh, long line, the line that they were the trying line, to like yeah. develop that whole whatever. Like, so they stopped the production of it. Um, I heard about that. Yeah, I mean, I definitely would have taken a long time, but there, I see that they're trying to do it in different cities, like and make it where you don't need a car anymore. You just stay wherever you are and you just walk to wherever you need to go. That's interesting. Like it's not needing a car like you're anymore. living in your own little community. Yeah. And then what if at a point they never want you to leave it and you're stuck in it and everyone's stuck in their own thing. And then they build like a, a black bubble, mirror a bubble around it. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you have all these little bubble towns. Like they prepare us. Like in the movies. And then yeah. it's like the districts in Hunger Games. It might get to that. Who knows? Probably will. Never say never. I think all the movies Justin that Justin Bieber. Make. Speaking of Justin Bieber. He just got paid $10 million to perform yeah. at this dude's wedding. Apparently, this dude had another wedding before. <laughs> and Rihanna performed at it. That's what I've been seeing in the comments. What? But do you huh? different girl? I, I don't know. All the comments are like, dude, how many times is this guy going to get married? So, I don't know if he got married before or it's another dude that looks similar or relatives or whatever. Let's give imagine the benefit being of that. so rich that your girl wants Justin Bieber to perform and you're like, okay, $10 million. For he, one night. One night, bro, and he's I like he's like the son of like a billionaire, so ten mil is probably like nothing. It's and like JB was so happy in that clip. Oh yes, bro, smiling his face off, bro. bro? Yeah, ten mil, bro, come on. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm happy too. He bro. was like singing with someone. He was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen him that he's happy. Like, like, yeah, this thirty seconds is like a hundred fifty racks. <laughs> no, literally, literally, uh, I saw it said that he left India thirty minutes after performing his last song. Like, left right away. Like, didn't stay, like, not even, like, an hour or two hours. Left 30 minutes after the last song. I mean, hey shoot, man, man. get that bag. Yeah, why not? Dude, get that bag. It's 10 mil, I would do a lot of stuff. <laughs> like you see me making one of those videos like Sketch. <laughs> <You're> 10 <laughs> mil, buddy. <laughs> for real, though. 10 mil, bro. 10 mil is crazy. I perform every day for, a y- for every day. That's crazy. Actually, it, what's crazier is that Justin Bieber gave up all his rights to his songs. He sold all his songs for 200 mil. Recently? No, a while ago. But still, I mean, selling all your 200 songs for mil, 200 dang. mil? Just do 20 birthdays, bro. Yeah. <laughs> or do 20 birthdays and get 200 mil. So with that, like every new song Justin Bieber makes, each new one is his. But all the old ones belong to someone now. Oh, he doesn't make the accumulation of it anymore? It's kind of like... like but, I, but what, 200 mil? Remember, come 200 on. mil, like it's immediate bag. It's like... You're chilling. Yeah. It's like, I would. You can't fudge that up, right? How fast can you spend 200 mil? You could easily, though. You could literally just buy one super yacht and fudge it all up. But, like, how much is a super yacht? You can get up to 200 mil. A couple hundred mil, I feel like, if you want the super, super yacht. Dude, have you seen some of these? But it's like on a day to day basis. Come on, bro. Have you seen those videos in Monaco of. What is it? The Bugatti that's parked on the helicopter pad on top of the super yacht. And it's like, bro, you can't even drive the Bugatti. It's just strapped on top of the helipad. Speaking of Bugatti, saw a new Bugatti, the new one. Uh, oh, it's also hybrid, a little bit electric, right? Yeah, it's like, uh, uh, how much is it? Five. I think it's like three mil. Half a birthday, a birthday cake. I think it's like w- less than half a birthday. <laughs> <laughs> That's the new measurement. Yeah. <laughs> less than half. We can go birthday for birthday. Hey. Yeah. Apparently, uh, uh, Mister Tate. Got a little uh, preview of the Bugatti before everyone got to see it. He made a little video being like, you're all brokies. You all got to see it now. But I saw it already a few weeks ago. 
and I already put mine in order in. I put three million dollars in an order. <laughs> like, thanks for letting me know I'm broke. I'll never get a Bugatti in my entire life, or even fathom looking at one. You I've never. I don't even think I've ever seen a Bugatti, honestly. It'd be crazy drive, like just like driving it. I would be like, dude, yeah. I'd be so scared, bro. I don't. I would You're driving a multi-million dollar mansion, dude. If anything hits it, bro, <laughs> even dude. a pebble. That fixing the paint job is probably a couple candles. Oh, I think I, I watched a video on how much it is to own. And, like, honestly, I don't know any of the information, so forget what I said. I can't give you guys anything. I mean, for but example. It's so exp- it's so, it's like, it's like hundreds of thousands of dollars, like, every couple years. What's, like, the it. smallest thing you could replace on a Bugatti? Like, what? how much is that small thing, like, to replace it? You know? Probably the key is probably five to ten. The key the key's a couple grand. Yeah, I did see that, I think. That yeah, is bro. so crazy that it could get to that level. And it's like, it doesn't Same even thing, just different key. brand. Yeah, I saw this thing, and it's uh, some luxury clothing. They got exposed for their bags cost fifty dollars to make. Someone like did a deep dive on their business, and their bags cost fifty dollars to make, but they're selling them for like hundreds or thousands of dollars. All, all it is is the branding. All it is yeah. is branding, marketing, everything. But that is everything, though. That's everything. Like everything. People yeah, want, you, people want what they can't have. That exclusivity. You FOMO them into it. Like, literally, I, I literally know people that, like, they'll make a shop of, like, clothing, and after the first two days, whoever buys it, buys it, they'll just put sold out. Even if it didn't sell out, they'll just put sold out. And it's smart. It really is smart, because yeah. then the next one actually sells out. So, it's they like... They feel like, dude, I have to get it before it sells out, because, like, dude, it's sold out, so people must want it, so it must be cool. So yeah. I have to get it before that The happens. illusion. Then they go make a video, and they're like, all right, guys, it just sold out, but I'm going to put it back up for only... Five hours, so make sure you guys get it while it's still up. Literally, bro. They're just there staring at it. No order going that's, through. That's how you guys... No, I'm not saying you guys. We're, we're putting you on game. But that's how people that don't have money go broke and stay broke trying to act like they have money. They, yeah. They buy, they buy stuff that they can't afford to impress people that don't really care just to look cool. And then yeah. at the end of the day, you're just keeping yourself in that hole. We were just talking about this yesterday, like the gurus and stuff. Like, yeah. I genuinely feel like because I've been doing this whole content stuff for a very long time, but I feel like out of anybody, if they're gonna do a video course, whatever, it would be me. But I don't want to do that because I don't want to put out anything that's not actually good. Like, yeah. I don't want to, you know, put out stuff that I don't agree with. Half of the people that do these guru things never have even done it before. They're faking it. They're faking it so they make it. A but they're making of, rap. But that's why we get rich. Rats. A lot of them are getting rich. From the course explaining how to get rich, that's how they're getting rich. You know what I'm Dude, saying? They're not rich yes, before, bro. but then they make the course telling how to get rich, and then they get rich from that course yep. telling how to get rich, and then they end up being rich. Yeah, bro. And literally, there's this dude, and I was talking about this with Rohan. There's this guy here in Tampa, and he popped off on TikTok like maybe two years ago. Popped off, probably made, uh, had some months where he made ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000. Because his views were going crazy and his CPM was probably, even if it was okay, like his views were just going crazy. Milked it. And then he started telling people like how to make money. But his views, he wasn't making any money. Like he just was, you know how it is when they're not. So it's like he's teaching them how to make money on social media, but he wasn't making anything. But he has to lean into it because he's already so deep into it. So that's like. He's just in the endless loop, bro. And then if it starts working, then he makes money from telling people how to make money. And he's not really actually making it the same way. But you know who doesn't do that? You know who doesn't do that? Tell him who doesn't do that, boy. One life. Yes, brother. We opened it because it's not a course and it's not for everyone. And we're not going to pitch it to everyone like it is for everyone. What is one life? One life is a community that we built on our school platform. It's linked in the top of the description where every week we have Zoom calls and we talk to you guys about life, growing physically, mentally, and spiritually. We had JGL on the last Zoom call, and it's basically an accountability group where we grow to become better. And it's not some $2,000 course, some $250 course. It's $25 a month for, for, for two Chipotle bowls with barely any rice and barely any beans. Honestly, it's only one and a half Chipotle bowls with the way inflation is nowadays. You can, you can get daily motivation and get to talk to me and NCK and sometimes a special guest, depending on the week or who it is, every single week. And it's just a great time. And if you want to join our community, go to one life 
in the description. And also, we have a clothing brand that we started. And the reason for the clothing brand is because we just resonate with the brand so much. It's because sometimes you just need a reminder that, yo, you got one life. Who cares what anyone else thinks? I want to do what I want to do. You should do what you want to do. And sometimes just having that little reminder there, it's like a tattoo that you look at or like a piece of clothing that you see and it just gives you a feeling and it ignites a little spark in you. And then it's up to you after that to continue that spark and keep putting fuel on that flame. Mm -hmm. But uh, we just want to do it to ignite that thing because we wish we would have had something like this when we were little kids. Yeah. Because we had to find like motivational videos or just like try to look for a nugget of hope in a... Or, like, sometimes it's hard to find a place that you can, like, trust what they're saying and, like, what the advice that they're giving. Because there's a lot of stuff on the internet nowadays. People, people say one thing on this side. People say one thing on this side. They Everyone acts like it's the truth. But at the end of the day, you got to use your own discernment on what to trust out there. And me and Ricky, we try and give as much advice on there as possible. Everything that we've learned through our entire journey, like, mindset stuff, fitness stuff. We give it to you guys in that community. They're both linked in the top description. The community and the clothing line, One Life. Um, and we're constantly learning and growing too. So it's like if as things happen in our life, we can share them with you. And if you can learn them while you're still young and not have to make the same mistakes, yeah. that's how you can get ahead further, faster, and just be more free. Yeah, to, to like forget the whole part of doing mistakes. I mean, everyone's going to make mistakes, yeah. but having a mentor – Helps so much. Like I, I had a mentor when I got to go live with Jake, my friend Marcos that currently still works with Jake. He told me like, get good with the camera, do this, this, that. If he didn't tell me to do all these things, I wouldn't have been prepared for the opportunity to come where he's like, yo, come move into the team 10 house, come live with me. So having a mentor is one of the most important things. And also being a mentor, you may not know everything, but you are going to have people younger under you and they look up to you. So it's your role to like be informed of everything uh, in that this world has to offer because you're never too young. I, I'm seeing 14-year-olds, 12-year-olds making millions of dollars by it's PNGs, crazy, you know? Like, it's just, there's money everywhere. You just got to go and grab it. And, and sometimes you don't helps. even need this, like, specific, like, thing. You just need, a, like, a little direction, bro. Yeah. A little direction goes little a push. long way. Just a little redirect. Mm -hmm. And and your and your friends, too, because if... if you know how it goes. If show me your five friends, I'll show you who you are. So if you got to cut off certain friends, like do it, like it will be the best thing ever. And it may not seem like it's the best thing ever at the time, but you will look back on it later and you will be like, wow, I really, it's a good thing. I have these new friends and like you want it to be where your friends issues is that they didn't get the right Bugatti that they wanted. Like, like you want to hear them complaining about like, like crazy, yeah, something like that, you know, friends like to be pushing you. Yeah. And, like all you guys want to be, going for more and like when you're all that's what you're surrounded by then you're constantly thinking like that instead of if you have some friends that maybe they're on a different path or they don't really know what they want to do with their life or maybe they just they don't have any motivation it's it, it's tough to like cut them off but you know if you're always around that you're gonna it's gonna bleed into you literally you know? like uh, i have this discord with a few friends of mine and like i, I try to check my friends sometimes because We'll be doing our thing, whatever, trying to grind. And out of nowhere, one of them is just complaining how, like, he needs to he needs money for this and this and that. And, like, I always tell him, like, bro, like, don't complain about it. And if anything, have the mindset of I'm going to find a way to make this money for my rent. I'm going to find the, the – instead of saying, oh, man, I don't have this money for my rent or I don't have this and this and that. The more you say you don't have it, the more you're insuring you're not going to have it. But mm -hmm. if you think of it like – I'm, I'm going to find this way. I'm going to, I'm going to get this money. Like you just already are on the path of doing it. So when you see it, you got to grab it. It's like the manifestation thing, but I don't really like to look at it as that. I just like to look at it as like you are envisioning what you want and pray for it. Praying is important and you have to put in the work. You can't just sit on the couch and be like praying here. Like, God, I really want this Bugatti. And then just sit on the couch all day thinking it's going to come. Just appear your in your door. driveway. Yeah. Like you got to go put in the work. You got to go put in that time. Yep. Yeah, bro. Exactly. And being uncomfortable is like it, being uncomfortable is so key as well. So it's like some people just want it to be easy, but it's like, how do you grow in the gym? Only when you're uncomfortable. When you feel the pain. But when, if you're just going to the gym and you're always comfortable, you're never going to grow. And that's like every aspect of life. Like if you're praying to want to grow, might, your life might get uncomfortable, and you might have some uncomfortable situations. That's how you grow. Mm -hmm. Like Sketch, he had that really uncomfortable situation. 
Maybe he, never mind. And now he, and he's growing. And like, if you face it, like people always like say, fake it till you make it. But it's like, if you just face it until you make it through, it's like such a better thing, I think, you know? Faking it, it's cool. You have to believe, like, say that you're going to be this, but, like, really facing, like, seeing stuff for what it really is and being honest instead of tricking yourself or saying, like, oh, whatever. It's really easy to do the wrong thing. Like, I, right now in this age that we're in, like, people are making money, like, you know, from that bad stuff. And there's ways to make money in a good way, but it's just we're all going to be tempted from what the world has to offer. So, you're going to, at some point in your life, be hit with something that isn't right, and it may make a lot of money, but down the road, it, it's really not worth it. Like, you may think it's worth it because of the money and everything, but it won't be worth it later on when you're face-to-face with God, and he tells you he never knew you. So, that's, that, I mean, that's what I fear. Like, I like I don't ever want to have that happen where I'm face-to-face with God, and he's just like, I never knew you. Be gone. You're going Manage. down to the bottomless pit, or the, what the hell, <laughs> you know? Not that I, like, look to God for that, but it's just, like. And you, there's something about, I mean, there's some people that they don't really care. They don't have morals, and maybe it might be easier for them to do that. But to me, it's, like, doing something that I'm proud of, that I can look at myself in the mirror, and I'm, like, I did that. I want to show other people what I'm doing because I'm proud of it. And it, It's, like, there's something in that, too, than just doing something to make you money and then being so ashamed of what you're doing, but knowing that it makes you money. You gotta look at yourself in the mirror, and you, you know you're just messing up people's lives. Or it's something. like it's like bringing a girl to to meet your parents. Like you, you know, there's certain girls out there that like your parents would be like, "Get her out of here." That I don't want. And then there's certain girls that it's like, "I love her. You better marry her." Like, so it's like, who would you? Who are you gonna bring to your parents? Like, you know, like kind of like that. You get me? Um, and I get it, what you're saying. I, I kind of. Oh, I kind of. I just now get what you're saying. Kinda. So it's like it's like if your job, if it's your job, like if your job is to, um. You know, let's say it's just something that's bad, and like your parents find out about your job. I don't like, even want to, you know, say it, but it's just like if someone asks you what do you do, and you can't proudly say it, you know, yeah. there's an issue. Or if anyone, if they're ask, if someone asks you about anything you're doing, and you can't proudly say it, maybe you should rethink what you're doing, because you should be. But you know, yeah, that's what I always think. Yeah, it's like I think that's good living like. Like, also, you can read, and the cool part about living, like, on camera, there's it's a double-edged sword because it is, like, dang, like, on camera. But also, you see how you really act. Mm-hmm. You have to rewatch yourself. Yeah. And then you look back, and you're like, oh. It's like recording a workout, and you're like, oh, I wasn't doing it the right way. But it's like, how about you, if you record your life and see how you act, sometimes you be like, oh, I'm not as nice as I really thought I was, or I don't say things how I really think I say them. That's why Joe Rogan always says this thing. It's like, Act as if your move, your uh, life was being filmed by a Netflix documentary, and you'll really push yourself. Like if you're in the gym and they're filming that Netflix documentary about your life, bro, you're pushing those extra couple reps. Dude, I thought about that if before. They're, bro. If they're so film, true. if you're filming a Netflix documentary and you're and you're like you, you want the story arc, you're gonna go up to that girl and ask her, and at least take the shot, bro, because everyone loves the person that took the shot and missed, and kept taking the shot until they made it, versus the one that just said. You know, like seriously though. Yeah, bro. And the I only think way you get better is this putting them shots up. Yeah, bro, for real. And you so get you bad. get better, bro. And you realize you can get so good. You can get better than ninety percent of people at something if you put in a little bit of time. Like if you want to learn the guitar, if you take a couple lessons, you're better than ninety percent of people. If you take a couple dance lessons, you're better than ninety percent of people. Because most people just sit there and they never keep elevating. They have that one thing they did when they were little and they'll stick with that forever. Or, or they do it for a little bit, and then they'll give up. Yeah. They're overwhelmed. Yeah, bro. But it's dope. And also, the back to the recording thing, like the recording your life. Someone said, oh, it was such a bar on a recent Joe Rogan podcast. He was like, everyone has, and I, I messed up earlier. I, I, like, got mad at someone and just blew up and let my emotions get the mess of me, right? But he said, and I try to think of this in moments whenever I can. Like, everyone has a little bit of God in them, and that's who you're talking to. So I've heard that before. But imagine that. Like, say, because uh, I feel like we're all connected, or like in the Bible, it's like we're all connected. Mm-hmm. But say you have a little bit, everyone has a little bit of God in them, and we all are together. Would I talk to God the way I'm talking to him right now if you were, like, if I was being mean to you or something? Mm. No? Like, you tr- look for that little light, because we've all been in this certain situation. We've all been in, the, like, 
that dark spot. And it's like, especially if you've already gone through something, how can you not forgive or see someone for where they're at instead of judging? But yeah. the constant, you know, judging is like the, whole, the worst thing, but we all do it. Mm-hmm. But we have no idea what, you know what I'm saying? You look for that little, little Yeah, bit. it's one thing to judge and then it's another to righteously judge. Like, like, it definitely, like, to put your friend in place and, like, to check them. Like, that's good. You know, it's important to have people that will righteously judge you. But judging to judge and, like, pointing the finger when I'm pointing, like, some back at me, it's like I'm doing the same thing. It's, like, not so fair because it's, like, I could be going off on you and, like, oh, you did this and this and that, but I just did it yesterday. Yeah. So, like, I, I, like I'd hate to be the one exactly. that does that. But yeah. I, I'll check you on something if it's, like, I genuinely know that's something you shouldn't be doing. Like, you know, you're righteously checking them. And so, saying yeah. it, like... Saying it in a good way, too, mm-hmm. is a lot. A little sandwich, a little compliment sandwich. Compliment them, say it, then compliment <laughs> them again. <laughs> is, that, is that a thing? Is yeah, that a compliment thing? sandwich. All right, do, do an example of it to Nick. <sighs> Nick, your fighting is really, really good. Yeah, thank you, bro. But you're not really, like, in shape, and, like, you should really get back in to, like, you know, getting back into the punching some bags. Back into the gym, back into the but gym. But the hat's nice. Dude, thank you, bro. Yeah. Oh, that's like a push-pull. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like I'm being manipulated yeah, in real it's time. Like it's a like a really crazy gaslight. Yeah. It's almost like a a gas siphon. Yeah. Relight. It, it it definitely could help. But even that, I guess that was like we saw for what it, we saw that. So I don't know. Yeah, man. Or sometimes just saying it not in a mean way, but saying it very straight is sometimes the best way. Honesty is like, the best yo, policy. Like if say we like you were filming something and I was like, I could butter you up and be like, oh, bro, you do like this and that, or I could be like. Yo, bro, can can you just film it like this, bro? And then show you and then give you an example. Or someone would be like, bro, no, do it like this. And then it's just like, whoa. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, you, and the other person has to, they got to take it the right way, too. Because yeah. some people be getting defensive. Yeah. And you're just trying to, you're just trying to make it easier for everybody. Mm-hmm. But some people, they got to work on that themselves. And yeah. Mm-hmm. I get so defensive. Some people have a short fuse. Like, they would not tolerate that. I'd be like, who are you talking to like that? Or they would like kind of tolerate it for a bit, but if they keep doing it, then they, you know it's an issue. But that could be anything. Like I could have had a bad day yesterday, so I'm like That's just being, you know being mean to you, and I'm just like crying out for help, but you don't know. Yeah, mm. you never know a when lot a friend's of really are, crying yeah. out for help. You never know. True. For example, like Sketch, like he left his glasses on the ground, left his shoes on the ground, and he just left. There was footage of a bank show, the security footage. Like he just left. He went to the airport. He was trying to go home. Like that. That. The glasses and the shoes on the ground, he didn't have to leave it there, but that was a cry for help. Like, he really had wanted to see, like, if how would they respond to that. So, and maybe he's not even thinking that deep, but his subconscious is like, quickly do that and then hope, man, you know? Because sometimes you don't even know what you're doing. Like, he's leaving like and he's, he, he, he wants to get out of there so he could be alone in his thoughts, but he kind of like that little cry for help is that him leaving the glasses and the shoes there to see if they would like care and like, be like, hey, bro, like, come yeah, back. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. Every, I feel like whenever people put out that energy of, no, do it like this, that's like a little cry for help. When people are stubborn or like they're they're very tensed up, it's always a little cry for help. You you can't even call them out on it, too. It's like if you were to be like, do you need help? They'll just blow up even more on you. Yeah. So it's like so hard to like. What do you do in that situation? Compliment sandwich, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> do you do the compliment sandwich or do you just go, okay. Because like you can't convince. You, sometimes you just can't convince. Mm-hmm. Or what's the best way? I don't know. You just because the compliment sandwich, even if they see it for a sandwich, it's yeah. Oh, I, you know, it's like almost like a double dose. Hungry, yeah. Huh? I know what you mean because I remember <laughs> yeah, when they're um, not hungry. They're you know they're not hungry. Maybe they just say get that sandwich. Oh, you think I need a sandwich right now? You know, I, I yeah, yeah. Because at the end of the day, like you're gonna do whatever you want to do at the end of the day. You know, like I remember when I got through my first breakup, <laughs> my senior year. And um, she broke up with me. I was obsessed with her. I kept hitting her up. I kept. I brought flowers to her house. I bought all this stuff. I was being a simp. All my friends were saying, bro, leave her alone. Stop talking to her. Like, ignore her. Like, trust me, she'll come back to you. Just leave her alone. And I didn't listen to anybody. I just, I was like, I'm going to do whatever I want to do. And, like, I, everyone gave me advice. You could give me the advice that I need to hear and what I need to do. And I'll still do whatever matter. I want to do. And you probably could have given the advice someone else needed to hear, too. But you couldn't hear it for yourself because you're I so in it. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. And you, it's like, I don't even care. Yeah, yeah, I don't even care. I'm, I'm set on what I want. Like, but crazy. then, but then after, I'm sure looking back, you're like, oh, maybe oh. what they were saying was right. Maybe yeah. I should have. So maybe if you do give that compliment sandwich to someone, 
and they're not hungry. Maybe they don't eat it right then. Maybe they put it in the fridge. <laughs> then they're they're hungry late at night, and they want a little midnight snack. And I they mean, ponder, they mm, ponder. Because they they're so out. hungry for so long. Yeah, and then they crack out that midnight snack, that little compliment sandwich, and then they're satisfied at night, and then it fills their tummy up, and then they're happy. And then they remember who made that sandwich, and they're like, in who, a moment, they're who, like, who, oh. Who made it? Man, I want another one. Hey, Matt, how you doing? Speaking of compliment sandwich, uh, right after I saw Jill Biden, vice president, no, what's it called? The first lady. Right after I saw Jill Biden, the first lady, I got myself a free sandwich outside. They're handing out samples. Some, there's just something about a free sample, man. I was at Costco the other day. <laughs> there's nothing to the story besides I was just walking around <laughs> gripping samples. And it was a great day. I'm banned from Costco, so wasn't even supposed to be in there. <laughs> but I was in there, and I was running it up. You should just do a video where you survive off of free samples. <laughs> for a week. <laughs> Dude, that's actually kind of crazy. Surviving off free samples for a week. Free samples yeah, can be many, mean anything. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Dude, I want to try the Mr. Beast uh, sandwich. Write that down. Oh, yeah, it could even down. be like people left their table at a restaurant, and you just went and like, got like, their dude, leftovers. Like, that chicken bake, bro? Costco chicken bake? I'm writing this down. It's actually kind of good. It's kind of a good idea. I don't want to do it, though. And you purposely have no wallet with you, so you can't spend any money. They're like, dude, seven, this is your seventh day. I've seen you in Costco the past five days, bro. Like, what are you doing in here? <laughs> you have different outfits ready and everything. <laughs> That's actually really good. Yeah, I think, yeah. Man, I don't want to do that. You, I would lose so much weight. But yeah, to that compliment. Tricky, though. That compliment sandwich, though. Huh? Huh? Yeah, back to compliment sandwich. It's just so that. Surviving off compliment sandwiches for a week next. It's just so that, like, your friend doesn't have to burn their hand on the stove, but your friend wants to burn his hand on Dude, the stove. Dude, that's so true. I wrote this down in my notes. But defensiveness validates accusation. What does that mean? Meaning defensiveness validates yeah. accusation. Meaning yeah. when someone is accusing you of something, they're maybe they're projecting something that's not true. They're saying, yo, you, this and that and that. When you get defensive, you're acknowledging and validating what they're saying is true. So how do you say something where you're acknowledging that you're listening to them, but not acknowledging that just because someone said it means that is a fact. Because just because someone says something does not mean it's a fact. And I feel like that's the one of the biggest things I've learned in just life. Mm -hmm. It's like, because you think just because someone says it, oh. And especially if someone is saying it, uh, like, not, like intellectually, like they could put a bunch of nice words together and it sounds, whoa, that sounds good. But it's like, wait, is that, is what they're saying even true? So as soon as you get defensive, it's because you feel like you need to prove to them why you're right or why they're wrong. And it just validates what they said versus like, this is something you're really good at is, or for the most part, I see that is like, you kind of just like sit there and you're like, okay. And I know you've seen this clip um, with, Ka no, no, Kanye West. Uh, he's in an interview and someone asks him a question or and says something to him and he goes, he takes a second and he goes, I'm not prepared to answer that right now. Give me a moment. And then he just sits there because sometimes you feel like you just need a boom, boom, and then shoot it right back. But it's like that person might have been thinking that question for days if it was an interview or they might have like thought about it while you were talking and it's just because, just because they hit it back, it's not like a game of tennis. You don't have to hit it right back. You can hold... You can hold. I don't know a game where you can hold the ball. I mean, that's it's so like true. basketball. You can you can slow down the pace. You can run that clock. You can out. run that clock, and then you're like, oh, let's Four look corners. for the best shot. Take the best shot. Yeah, because I feel like it's so true. Like if you were to say something about me, and like it, it was low key true, and I was so quick to be like, no, no, but like, da -da -da -da, and I tried switching the subject and everything. Boom, I'm guilty. But yeah, it makes it if you're bad. quick, if you're slow to speak and quick to listen, mm. you kind of like take a moment, and you're just. You're not that guilty because you're you're willing to hear him fully out. So then at that <laughs> point, it's like, dang, like is that is bro? Did bro really do it? He seems yeah. like a yeah. Seems just like he hear it, it out there. and then hit him with a compliment sandwich. <laughs> yeah, hit him with facts, or who knows if he did or didn't do it. Or just hit him with a oh, dude. My friend said one of the hardest things the other day. Someone came up to him and he was like, like kind of like trying him. He was like, yo, we need yo, bro. Why are you acting different? He was just being like a little quieter. I mean, there's nothing wrong. Just like he was being quieter. He's like, why are you being different? Trying to, like, come at him? And he just, and he's like, yo, bro. He didn't say anything. And then the guy was like, yo, bro, we need to talk. And he just was like, when the time is right. <laughs> and then he just, like, walked away. And it was like, <laughs> dang, bro. Pretty <laughs> yeah. fire, like a movie, bro. 
<laughs> That's insane. If somebody told me we need to talk, I'd be like, well, what's going on? Like, what do you mean? Like, and he just hit him with the when the time is right. Yeah, and then walked away. Uh, I'm going to use that one. I like that. When the time like is that. right. That's a good one. And then the other, like, because the, the, the one dude was definitely, like, projecting a lot of his own. Like, he was, you know how, like, or hit him with a, hit as him a with human. A, I'm good, bro. I'm good, bro, as a fire, too. I just never heard someone say, like, yeah. when the time is right. That's fire. That is good. And I was like, he walked off like a fudging G. And I was like, <laughs> I literally went up to him. I was like, bro, I just witnessed a movie, dude. But just seeing that was dope. And then, but you also realize, like, people are, like, sometimes you're really happy. Sometimes you're just chilling. Yeah. And sometimes we'll try, people will try to make you feel weird or bad if you're not how they think you are. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it was dope. I'm going to write that down, actually. Not right now. What do you say? Hmm? When the time is right? When yeah. the time is right. Did I say that? No. No. I said something like that once in a while. I'm good as far. Someone was trying to do something with me. You're like, everyone asks always to like film a video, you know? Like, you know how it'd be probably, right? It's like, dude, yeah. film a video with me, film a video. And I was like, dude, they're like, dude, when are we going to like make a song together? When are we going to make a video? And I was like, when the time is right. <laughs> you said that? Yeah, I think so. I was like, uh. I don't know. And then the other guy, he, he as he was walking off, he goes, when's the time? Oh, he said this too. It was like, so he's projecting onto him. He goes, when the time is right. And then, and then, no, he like goes up to him like, yo, we need to talk, bro. Like, why do you have beef against me? He's, and he didn't say anything. And then he's like, when are we going to talk? He just let him keep talking. And then he goes, when the time is right. Starts walking away. And then, and then the other guy goes, when's that? And he just turns and goes, when the time is right. <laughs> <laughs> Not right now, son. <laughs> bro, just hit it in again with it. Yeah. And when do we think we're going to end this pod? Dude, I don't know. I think we, we can keep it going, honestly. Sure. Maybe not. We could. We could. Good. We could wrap when, it up. When the time up. is right. When the, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, say, I say when the time is right. I don't know. think the time is... I don't know if it's right yet, to be honest. Okay. What do you want to talk about, Brother Bear? Dude, I want to talk about... We, we could definitely could. I'm lucky still thinking about the fake room that Ka- Kai Sinat did. The Kai Sinat thing? I'm, that's still on my head, bro. That's crazy. That they did all of that just for everyone to find out. Because everyone knew, everyone was like, "Oh, it's a fake room." How did how did everyone know it was a fake room? Because uh, there's like certain corners that weren't the same. There was missing posters. The floor was the same floor. I don't know. I don't and know the what it was in for. The back. Yeah, I don't know what it was for. I think it was for like a Mr. Beast video. But since they caught on so quick, they just released the info, and they're like, "Oh yeah, you caught us." But it's crazy because Kai Sinat asked Mr. Beast. He was like, "So Drake or Kendrick?" And then Mr. Beast was like, "Kendrick." I think he asked him, who's your favorite rapper? And he said, Kendrick. So he was like, oh, so Kendrick won the beef. That's it. Like, because, like, Mr. Beast is, like, the last one to say who wins. Dude, uh, uh. You all right? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm good, bro. Having a little stroke there? Dude, I think it's good. You What? You want to end it? No, unless you wanted to talk about something. Let me see my notes real quick. I I'm like fudgy, you know, a little two-hour one. I'm with it. Okay. I'm with it, bro. This has been, it seems like it's been a great podcast, so. We I'm could go, we could keep going deep. We could go deep. I haven't, or we could go light. Or we could go light. Where do you want to go? Do you think Speed should box? He'd look nice in that clip. I don't know if we'll get into it, but he did look nice in that clip. But I was going to say this. Bro, I got trust issues, bro. Why? Okay. Women? Yeah. Same, bro. bro. <laughs> Same. So bad, bro. Really? It's bad, bro. I think I'm going to get robbed. Huh? Oh, when they when they come over? Yeah, when they come over. Huh? Well, what you kind of girls are you bringing around, dog? Dude, just... Uh, dude. Ones it, with shysties on? Bro, what? No. I bring good girls around, son. Okay, how? Where do you meet these <laughs> Where girls? do you find these good girls? Yeah. Bro... Doctors, nurses. Just because they have a title doesn't mean they're a good girl, though. Bro, but you're asking where I'm finding them, bro. You go to the doctor's office and say, hey. <laughs> I think you messaged one of them, actually, they said. What? Oh. On, on, uh, Did they message me back? I don't know. It was like uh, on, an, uh, on an app. Anyway, that's besides the point. <laughs> that's besides the point. You know, it's a small town. Nothing wrong. You know, I probably. What's, what's oh, the issue you with the women? Okay, on, man. Yeah, I know. What's the issues with the women? Right? No, but what? Double dose. <laughs> Double dose. What's going on with the ladies? 
No, but bro, so after that part, after the party on whatever day that was, Saturday, after the party, um, a lady calls me right late at night. You want to say this? I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't. I don't get to you. I would say whatever. Bro. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't keep know what it, it is, real, bro. I keep it yeah, real, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. and people respect that. And if I had a woman in my life that I was actually like really about, Same. they would be the only one in my life. Same. So right now, I don't have that. So I will say whatever, but I'm not gonna spell names can, or nothing. Can I, I go get popcorn for the story? Bro, I have popcorn, but it takes a couple minutes to cook. Don't worry, really I have issues with women too. Yeah, well, I, won't, I won't get into the story, but yeah, you have <laughs> issues too? Like what? <laughs> like, bro, and let me tell you this. All right, well, Ricky's not here, bro, but I was talking to this girl, different girl, like just like chatting, you know, and then she tells me that she's like down. She's feeling down, and I was like, like, what's wrong? We can talk about whatever's going on, right? And then she's like, yeah, okay. And then she comes to find out that the dude she had been dating for the past six months was also dating another girl at the same time. Dude, uh, I had one of those two. I had one of those two. You had one of those two, bro? Bro, okay, so this is, this is, uh, I don't really go around dating a lot of girls and whatnot. Like, I've only ever had one girlfriend. But the beginning of this year, 2024, I was dating this girl. I'm not going to say her name. But, uh, boyfriend, you guys were boyfriend and girlfriend. No, no, no. I was just oh. dating. It was like about almost a month. See, everyone has different definitions for those words. So. Yeah, I, I wouldn't really get there until like her. I genuinely like love her, you know. You but loved um, her? huh? You love no, her? No, no, no. I would only get to that point if I love her, you know. Oh, you'd only ask them to be your girlfriend if you love them. Of course. Okay. Of course, because that means that you have intentions on marrying them. Whatever. So Sorry, I, give me a piece of that. Yeah, I got you. I got. He just comes in my comes in my apartment, takes my food. Bro, but I'm pretty good at hospitality. Like, I let you have whatever you know, all the time, you know? Dude, because if you didn't, I would take it anyway because you could just come and rob me. Yeah, but I, I'm pretty good at offering stuff to you. Dude, thank you. Bro. Yeah, so I was talking to this girl, right? Thank we're you. we're thank talking you. for... Thank you. You're welcome. Talking for a few weeks. We take her on dates. Everything's fine and dandy. Every, whenever I'm with her, it's amazing. I'm, like, falling in love with this girl almost. And then um, I, like, each time I talk to her and I'm, like, so, like, I kind of want to take it a little bit further, this and this and that. And she's saying she doesn't want to take it further because she just got out of a relationship, like, six or seven months ago. And she just kind of wants to, you know, be single-ish type beat. Um, and what's what's interesting is that her ex, that dude that she was just with, uh, when she started talking to him, she was the side piece to him dating another girl. So she knew she was the side piece, and then he got caught cheating on that girl with her, and then he started dating, or she started dating that guy. So she got upgraded from side piece to main piece. To main thing. piece, right? They were together for three years, and then they break up because she got cheated on. Oh, did you not think you were going to get cheated on? How you get them is how you lose them, son. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And whatever. So I wanted to, like, get with, the, I wanted to, like, be with this girl and whatnot, and um, she just couldn't give me what I wanted. And after I found that out, too, from one of her friends, I was like, oh, yeah, done deal. Like, I don't want a girl that was okay with being sloppy or being, a, you know, the side, side piece. Side like, piece. come on. And she got cheated on, and then she didn't want to get with me like, because bro, she thought I'd cheat on her. Like, come on, that's your issue. Or like those girls that be saying, like, your man single to me. Oh, my gosh, you huh? quiet. <laughs> uh -huh. Like, there's girls that, that be saying... We'll see a dude, right? And then uh, maybe the dude is with a girl, his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the girl's like, oh, no, like uh, he, he has he has a girlfriend. and That's her, right? And then the girl will be like, nah, he's single to me. Like meaning that they're still a home wrecker pretty much. And they're yeah. just, they, they, won't, they don't even care. And they're just trying to bust that open yeah. for their young yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's no, why you can't that's date. Crazy. But bro, you yeah, doing that? You can't date anymore, but bro. How are you proud of that? Me? No, not you, but them. You can't change your mind. You just got to let them be. They'll wreck their own life. Like, and then they'll come to their own realization. I was talking about it And yesterday. then they have to pick up the pieces of what they've done. I guess it's, it's pieces, a... Boy. Like, enjoy that while it is, because that's all you're getting. You're not in it for that long. That long There's long. nothing genuine now, because we have phones. But think about it. Back in the day... It Imagine. probably was still cheating, but it wasn't as easy of access. Because yeah, think bro. about like uh, you couldn't just go on IG. You had to court the woman. You had to, you had to really like be about her. You would think about her, and if you didn't, if you you couldn't distract yourself with another woman. 
bro. But this is what I'm saying, bro. You never know. Like the girl, you don't. like the girl that I was talking to that said, uh, that she was dating someone and then she found out after they broke up that he had a girlfriend the whole time. He probably seemed like a good person, right? That's crazy. Like, or else they wouldn't have dated, right? Yeah. You never know. You never know who to trust. So I, so that gives me even more trust issues. And I, you just hear crazy stories. Like you're scrolling on TikTok. There's just crazy stories on there all the time. But then pretty much what happened after the party, girl hits me up. Her and her friend hit me up late at night. And I, you know, I'm going to keep it real, bro. Late at night, girl hits me up, her and her friend. I thought maybe today might be my night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping it real, bro. Yeah. But, uh. Keep going. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you know, uh, I didn't, I was, wasn't expecting anything. But I was like, sure, we can hang out for a little bit. It wasn't too late. I was in a good mood. Well, it's not too late. It was like five. The sun was not up yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not too late for me either. <laughs> yeah, so I invite her and her friend. I hung out with uh, the one that called me. I hung out with her before. And um, who? Say her bro, name. We'll bleep, we'll bleep it out, bro. I'm not saying the name, bro. Wait, wait, wait just say it because I want to know. Oh no, nope. maybe maybe we'll after the pod out. I'll tell you. But, bleep uh, it out. Whisper over here. <laughs> Give context. Bro, a short blonde. Uh, oh, I know who it is. <laughs> I don't know. That could be a thousand different people. <laughs> but uh, I invite him over, and then we're hanging out. We're talking. We're about to watch a movie. The one friend. I didn't know. Th- there was, the thing is, communication is key. They were, they're girls, so, you know, I'll give them a little bit of slack. But just in life, communication is key, right? Mm. But I didn't know if they were coming over for something else or to just hang out or they were going <laughs> to sleep here. Or I didn't know what the vibe was, right? And then one of them asked for, like, a change of clothes because they were in, like, going out outfits. I was like, sure, yeah, here. Here's a pair of shorts. Here's a shirt. And then she's like, yo, can I sleep on this beanbag? And I was like, yeah, sure. Here's a pillow. Here's a blanket. Nice guy. I'm a nice guy. Give yeah, me. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where's some IBP merch? <laughs> some One Life clothing. Probably the best sleep she was ever about to have, right? <laughs> but it's like I met. I just met her. I just met her, right? Mm-hmm. So it's pretty much, to me, it's like. She'll give you signs. Signs of what? If I can trust her or not? Uh, if she, you know. No, I think I let him go. Oh, let si- him. signs of she give you signs. Signs of if yeah. uh, like if she wants to dance with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> do, do the dance. Do you the okay. okay. Go. <laughs> so, no, nah, the friend, the friend, uh, she was at, she was trying to go to bed, right? But then me and the other girl, we've hung out before, you know. You guys hugged. danced before. We've hugged. We've hugged more hard. Hugged hard. <laughs> Not too hard though. Not haven't haven't. Fully embrace the hug, right? Slightly <laughs> kissed. Yeah. Some honestly. would say. Yeah. <laughs> so then um, so then we're, we're about to watch a movie, and then I'm like, let me shower real quick. I shower, come back out, and then I'm just like, hmm, if anything even does happen, I'm going to have a random person that I just met like 30 minutes ago. This girl's friend. She seemed like a nice girl. But I don't know. There's expensive stuff in the living room. I got the computer. We have a bunch of... There's three cameras filming this podcast. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's like there's a bunch of expensive stuff in here. I don't know if I'm with the other girl just cuddling, doing whatever. She could be emptying out your living room right now. Yeah. The truck downstairs. Yes. Walk out the door. (laughs) I wouldn't even know because my door would be closed. So I was like, it's like like 3 a.m. at this point. She's literally falling asleep on the little beanbag. I'm about to watch a movie with uh, the friend. And then I'm like, I was getting like anxiety, bro. And I was like. You're about to watch a movie with the friend? Isn't the TV next to the beanbag? Yeah, it's right next to the beanbag. But it, you're just going to watch it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, here's, the TV's here. Bean, it's like right here. Ba- TV's here. Beanbag's here. Couch is here. We were going to watch. We were going to sit here and watch a movie. And she was going to sleep right here <laughs> on the beanbag. It's really, this is the couch and that's the beanbag. Yeah. Pretty close. But then I was like. I was like, dude, I, I like, no there was no, and I, I was super tired and I wanted to get a good night's sleep. Yeah, yeah. So course, it's late and I'm like, dude, like, you guys have to go. <laughs> I'm going to need my clothes back, son. Nah, I get that though. I yeah, bet, bro, the clothes too. They'd be trying to take that fire stuff. Yeah, I, 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 said, no, I made sure I didn't give him no fire stuff. In case, like, I went in my closet. I picked the ugliest stuff. I gave her a dirty pair of shorts. Cut that. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were they were like some. You just have to have some like, fits were, ready. I like I wore them for the gym one time, so it's like, and I I hit upper body, so they were pretty clean. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
She doesn't yo, that know. Was fire, bro. She doesn't know. Yo, that was fire, bro. I sniffed him, I sniffed him bro. I, <laughs> if I couldn't tell, yo, yo he said I wore him one. I wore him one time in the gym and I hit up her body. If anything, you just spray a little bit of cologne and you're good. That's exactly. Yo, he exactly said I hit. Body, I hit up her body, bro. Oh, that was fire. I don't know. That was, that was hilarious. Yeah, so it's like, dude, if <laughs> she's not going to know, and she was a little bit intoxicated, so yeah. it's like, dude, like, like, I have to do laundry, bro. I'm not going to dirty up a <laughs> pair of shorts just so she can sleep on my couch for three hours drunk. She's probably dirty. She put them on dirty. So it doesn't matter if they're dirty. Yeah. So then She just came back from the club. She's dirty. Exactly. I'm saying. Right. So then uh, I was like, it's like 3 a.m., and then I had to kick him out. I was like, I'm sorry, but like, I have to ask you guys to leave and then i leave they leave and then to me it's like dude i don't know what's gonna happen like you gotta be cautious like you don't know who to trust what if they come back well, well i don't know bro i've heard stories of like you hear stories of there's two girls in the in the, like a bar or a club dude walks up to him dude's like oh you guys look pretty and they're like oh yeah can you buy us a drink they get the drink and then and then the girls they're in on it together and the girls are like oh Oh, you, you want to come back to our room with us? Then they go back to the Rob room. Him. Boom, boom, boom. Bang, bang, bang. Knock on the door. Dude walks in with a gun, aiming at the dude's head. Give me everything you got. Run it right now, or I'm going to shoot you. That's why you got to stay ready with your pupil. If it seems too good to be true, probably is. That's why I was like, I was getting anxiety. Probably I was is. like, dude. It ain't even oh, it was like a setup. Like they were like, no, I didn't think I didn't okay. think it was a setup, but it's just like, dude, I don't know. Maybe they were gonna. Dude, yeah, no, I feel that there's though. Like, come, there's like, dude, there's so many cameras in here, bro. Yeah, yeah, I've been in houses with. It's like a lot if of one equipment. goes missing, I probably wouldn't notice for a little bit. Yeah, like I remember you know when I was yeah, in yeah, yeah, Team yeah, yeah. Ten House. When I was at Team Ten House, it was a yeah, it was a people big were in deal. and out of that place. Yeah, it was a big deal that like if you have a guest and like someone's with you. You need to make sure your eyes are on them the entire time because if something happens or something was stolen, there was an actually an issue where like money was stolen and whatnot. A big, big, big issue. Not with me, but uh, it, it's crazy because it could, could literally not even be you. It could be someone you invited over. You yeah. literally went to the bathroom for a second. Boom. You're responsible, though, if you yeah. invited that person. Yeah, that's yeah. why I never invited anybody. Yeah. I was the nerd yes. there. I never had anybody over. But <laughs> after after we had like parties because every night at the Team 10 House, we I'm had a sorry. party like every night. We would purposely... Go to parties in L.A., bring all the attractive people, like they would say. I mean, it's good, you know? We don't know ugly people. And then <laughs> we'd bring them back to the house, and then there was, like, a party every night. And, like, some people... Every night? Saying, yeah, like, almost every night. At the Team 10, Jake yeah. was it partying it up? Calabasas house? I mean, like... Yeah, he actually didn't drink or anything because he was fighting. But, like, he, he was there. Like, all the people that lived there wanted to party. But Jake was actually really good. Like, I, I can say, and I can vouch, and I'm not just saying it, and I'm not capping. Like, he never did any bad drinking, nothing when he was fighting. Like, very strict with it. Like, I look up to Jake, and I always will. Like, he is a real but one. he let loose when he wasn't, right? Oh, of course. Which if he fine, just yeah. if he just does a fight, like, yeah, he's going to drink a bit and whatnot. But, um, yeah, so we've had issues where, like, People aren't keeping an eye on their guests. They're disappearing in the house and all this stuff. Yeah, and that's like, what I'm paranoid of. Yeah, yeah, we can't have that, like, at all. Like, there's a studio with a bunch of equipment. We have all the stuff. Like, we have free things everywhere. Like, <laughs> that's free to them. But And it's yeah. like you wouldn't even notice it. for like, And then by that, by, by that point. Too late. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, you think that, you, like, the girl that you were talking to, like, in that who had a boyfriend at the time, and then the girl that I was talking to or that was talking about had a boyfriend that had a girlfriend, it's like, you don't even know. It's like you really don't. Because the like, people aren't honest. That's why I keep it real, bro. And I keep it real. I was trying to get lucky that night, but I didn't. But <laughs> I, I, hey, man. Stop all night a, to get lucky. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, my day will come one time. Just kidding, I, I'm just kidding. Bro. Come on, man. I knew that. But uh, th- that's all what I wanted to get off my chest. All right, man. Well, I think the time has come when the time is right. And it feels pretty right to me. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the It Is What It Is podcast. Check out our One Life community, our One Life clothing. We love you guys. And until next time, it is what it is. It is what it is.